So, hello and welcome to the sixth edition of um, the Rainbow Cup. The probably most anticipated teammate team tournament on FAF. Uh, I'm joined by Derp and we will cast the games for you. Hello. Welcome to the stream. First game hasn't quite kicked off yet. We're just waiting for them to uh, set their positions. It's going to be SA Clan and Co versus hashtag Fix Atlantis. We're waiting for one more player in the lobby. Who's even missing? Uh, no one cares. That's Lord oh. Asmodeus. He keeps renaming himself. Is Lord Asmodeus? Is no one cares, right? Um. Yes, that's him. He is on Tagada's team, which is F S A Clan and Company, Incorporated. I'm bit... Yeah, I'm a bit Sounds confused. Like there there a Isn't magnate. he tournament directing as well, or? <laughs> Yeah, that might be a bit confusing. Yeah. I wanted to play in this tournament. I signed up, but uh, nobody picked me. It's, you know when people pick players for dodgeball and there's always a few people who are useless left at the end? That yeah. is me. Oh no. I was not picked. Not good enough. Very sad. <laughs> I'm a, I, Grimplex asked me earlier if I wanted to sub in his team, but turns out you I were like, no, I'm not a sub. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm an. <laughs> I'm swing that way, so I'm not playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor Grimplex. He had like two of his players drop out on the on the last day. Oh no! Like, did he did he manage to fill his players now, or is he just not playing? Hang on, did he rename his team to Substitutes? Uh, I might be using Maybe. an old one. I'm using the Discord team map, so I might be using an old one. Yeah, I have the challenge open. I hope that's up to date. Well, if he's missing, let me just check in the FAF lobby what, if there are other games which are kind of launching, because uh, we've got S not, no one cares is on the wrong no one yeah. cares is in the wrong game but he has joined another map so, and then welcome to the... Uh, the other game ready to go is uh, Two rats, one goat versus the clown car. That is a farm schlepp's team versus blood ear. That one might be quite good to watch as well. Group formed. Yeah, I, I think Knock is currently doing tournament director stuff. Which means our game that we're in can't launch, right? Yeah. It feels bad, man. <laughs> like if any other lobby is six out of six, we'll just. Oh, but I guess <laughs> there's a chance we won't make it. Hmm. Group formed. Ooh, Classic tried. tournament style. You've got the uh, tournament game up, full of 2K rated players. Random 500 from Poland joins. That is the FAF experience. Yeah, just get ambushed. <laughs> <laughs> My man. Read the room. <laughs> yeah, we know we need to change the title of the stream. There's a slight boo-boo there. Can mods change it, or do we need someone who's actually logged in? Probably need someone who's logged in, right? I yeah, I don't have any access to Faf live stream. Yeah. Imagine me having access to that. I would just fill it with memes immediately. <laughs> That'd be terrible.
So, do you want to join the ca- the clown car game? Is everyone there for the clown car game? We're waiting for Nuggets. No, Nuggets is already there, but he's on a different team. It's so confusing, they're not joining the right teams. Did the game already launch? Not on my screen. Thank you, Tagada, for changing the name of the stream. That's very generous of you. <laughs> Just imagine him, like, tabbing out of his opening build in the <laughs> tournament to tinker with the uh, Twitch stream. Yeah, and then demanding a re. Also in typical FAF style, all the players join and then try to work out what the rules and mods that they need are when they're already sitting in the tournament lobby to launch the game. That's a yeah. classic too. Yeah, it seems like they are even less prepared than I am. This is your typical FAF tournament and no one knows what to do. And you need like one tournament director per team effectively to babysit them. Like herding cats. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. There is eight players in the clown car game, but they are they're all sitting in obs rather than uh Okay, they're picking teams. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it seems like they're figuring out Oh, you're in the clown car game, I think I'll just join yeah. it because yeah, that will launch. Blodo didn't bother Soon. to make a team name on my thing. They they didn't pick a team name. So I guess it'll be Team Bloodier. That's fairly sensible. And the clown car is um, formed. That is the Farm Schlet FTX Commando team. So, which team is Team Two? Will be clown car. Yep. They'll be playing at the bottom. Although FTX needs to swap to... Um... So the name of the Rainbow Cup, you have to be the right colours, right? You can actually lose a game if you don't pick the right colour. It's Are supposed to be red strict? versus no. blue, right? It's pretty strict. Yeah, yeah. I didn't remember the loss. first... Oh, you now you do get, okay. Because the first time I remember a couple of games that uh, did not follow the rules i was i was amazed how well it worked like it's, it's so difficult to get five players to stick to rules like that it's a unique type of person that plays faf i think at a level like able to make split second decisions on the Return on investment of multiple mexes versus raiding chance risk. <laughs> like, at, in a second's notice, they can do that. But you ask them to pick, like, a blue or a red color in the lobby, and it's not going to work. Yeah. Yeah, FTX is going to be upset that he's got to swap from his customary white. They're really struggling to pick the right color on the right team. Very complicated. Luckily, no one cares. Yeah. Doing a great job of uh, <laughs> tournament directing them, herding yeah. the cats into the right color boxes. Just gotta uh, repeat what you say a million times. Eventually, <laughs> they will figure it. Will figure it out. They've also um, got manual teams on, um, and they're all picked the same team so far. So if they launch the game as it is, <laughs> they'll all be on the same team and the game will immediately end. 
This is very uh, not just left. This is very. Um, I do not have the confidence in this. It was our only hope for, for organizing them. Yeah. So that ah uh, dang, that means the other game would launch first. Hello everyone in the chat. Welcome to the stream. We're just waiting for our first game to launch, which is the Clown Car versus Blood Ears team. Um, we are playing the Rainbow Cup tournament. We've got two teams. One's going to be in blue, one's going to be in red, and the AI team is going to be on their own little area of the map, and they're going to be in green. Oh, it looks like we're almost ready. No. Uh, who's Cupid? They've, is that Raider or is, is that on the wrong team. No, it's on the wrong <laughs> Cupid is... Uh, that's Rowan, okay. Oh, he's gotten fat. 2300. Damn. Oh, someone just subscribed with Prime. Thanks, Rowan, for subscribing to the Faf channel. If I remember correctly, it goes all to Faf funded tournament prize pools. Yeah, pretty much, I think, for all the uh, Faf Live stuff. Which is nice. Yeah. Because this is, this is where Faf can actually spend money. The I think Faf has, not, has enough funds to run the servers. Not till eternity, but for many years. But... Funding. I think everybody's ready. Group formed. Oh no. <laughs> I think we should close the spots. Mm. Close the open slots. I can't fix it. Oof. We ask him politely yet firmly to leave. There we go. <laughs> that looks good to me. Not quite sure who will win this. <clears throat> no, I think it'd be quite a close one actually. Yeah. Who do I you got... favor? Hmm. Who do you favor for this one? Uh I think farms and like a farms and FDX they definitely have their team play. True. Team play going on, but I'm not sure how well they'll be able to play with Nuggets. I'm not even sure if they're all in voice or something. Let me spy on Bloodier. Maybe they are. Okay, they're not in the... Ah, they... Maybe they're in a private call, but... Can we make a tutorial video on how to pick the colors for the tournament? Oh, boy. 
formed. <laughs> the big big boss man has to join and fix everything. Yeah. So, team one must be red. Okay, you have to drop pick the color from the drop down menu. Team two has to be blue, because the AIs blue are going to be green. Formed. I know this is very difficult for uh, <laughs> players to understand, but uh, it is in the tournament director rules. It has been on the forum for many years, so we'll just wait for uh, wait for the players to give <laughs> somebody else has joined. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> I feel like so the... this map is kind of new. I haven't. I don't think I've ever played on this map. So oh, it I was. It was in the tournament. last. No, it was, was in it the in last, last tournament. Map? Yeah, yeah. It's quite an old map actually, but quite I've an underplayed one. It. But then, the game, the maps I play is currently uh, fairly restricted to the TMM four v four and one v one pool. So, yeah. Yeah, this map is a bit odd because the the center hill with the two max in the middle that's super steep and path finding is a bit questionable. Formed. So we've kind of got farms versus blood ear and the carry slot at the back. I guess the question is how quickly can they tech versus dealing with the raids from the AI? And whether they can just farm the AI raids with some PD and engineers for a reclaim. Yeah, it's always a bit... I think this is actually something you have to sandbox. Like on some maps, it's really worth to just invest see how the highly AI plays. and yeah, like first see how the AI plays and whether it's worth it to stomp it early on or just mm. ignore it. So as we go through the tournament, the AIs get, get more difficult, right? Uh, they ramp I do them not up. No, do they? Okay. I thought that was a thing last last time we did the Rainbow Tournament. The AIs got more difficult. They got more bonuses. Mm -hmm. I know quite a few players got killed by the AI later on. On Selkie Island? Question mark. Oh no! It was the Selkie Mirror. That was the absolute AI stomp map. Yeah, like every yeah. team just got stomped by the AIs there. <laughs> was literally who died last to the AI. Okay, you should join the uh, rats. The rats versus the clown car game. We're basically ready to launch. Everybody's uh, readying up. If your one isn't ready. I think I'm... Yeah, I'm already in. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Farms is always unhappy. Average FAF player attention spam in lobby is like 10 seconds. We're the average tournament enjoyer. <laughs> None of the stress of playing or getting like dunked on by Tech One Arty, dying to an AI. We just get to sit and enjoy it. Yeah. So many people picking UEF outright. I would expect that from FTX because he only plays UEF, but uh. Everybody else? I'm actually a bit... Why? Yeah, it's a, that's a very good question. Why they pick UEF? Oh, the AI is UEF. Maybe... I'm not sure. Even then, we're still, like, more than 50% picking UEF, yeah. even without the AIs. Yeah, no, I'm just thinking that maybe you... But... Like, you know, just abusing that you can build on the AI structures, like on the AI racks. Ah, uh, yes. But That's a good point. I'm not sure how much of an advantage that gives you so far into the game when the AI is stomped. 
I mean, unless they're both planning, unless they've, they've sandboxed the AI here and uh, they know that they want to attack it early and rebuild on it and use it to push, in which case it makes quite a lot of good sense. Yeah. Because the, the PD is strong for UEF, they get more HP on the PD, but the triad tends to delete all the reclaim. So it's not good for farming. Yeah. Was it done actively? I think there was some accidental... It looked to me more like accidental farming of the AI. Or were there actually teams that employed it? Like had a you know, specific position for a firebase planned out early on? Okay, we are just waiting for Bloody to ready up and the tournament will basically be ready. Uh, yes. Path Live is ready. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Welcome Must not... to the tournament. The Rainbow Cup. Game one, we have SA Clown and Co. Sorry, that's the wrong game. What am I talking about? We've got the Clown Car versus Blodder's team. Since Blodder didn't enter a team name. Obviously, thanks to the uh, thanks to the changes to Faf recently, we can see where all the players are pointing their mouses, their mice, so we can see what they're up to. So on the bottom team in the red comms, we have got the clown car. It's going to be popular streamer. It's Farms who's playing as the wheelie. He's going Seraphim. His customary dark red. Then up front, playing UEF as you might expect. It's FTX Commando in uh, Rage Red. And down here we've got Nuggets. Opening land. And he's going to be playing in the desert at the bottom. Uh, honestly, FTX is going for Bomber. I'm really interested <laughs> where this is going. The cheese. Yeah, is he cheesing their opponents or is he cheesing their AI? I don't know. No, he's put the rally point onto uh, Cupid's base. So uh, he is teasing Nugget's opponent. Otherwise, fairly standard yeah, openings. Everyone just doing a hydro build by the looks of things. I'm wondering if anyone is going second air. Palms is. Wheelie's queued up an air factory second off of his hydro. Both AIs opening double lab. Yeah. Oh, and the bomber Cupid has with arrived. a dodge there. An accidental dodge for two engineers, but loses one. Loses a second to the Tech One bomber there. Will he lose a third? Oh! He's microwing it. That's a dodge. Anti-air comes out. That's probably going to shoot away the bomber. Another anti-air from uh, Note. So there's nowhere for it to go there. Oh, and the bomber dies after three yeah. engineers. That's not. That's not amazing. It's I mean, about it forced, even. I think it forced five AA. I think that's probably worth it. Yeah, maybe just barely. Yeah. FTX about to get raided by some labs here from the AI. Picks them off with his comm. Not very worth. Where did. Oh, the other ones. The other ones got killed by Notes AC. It has three kills already. Those are some nice salines by farms. So he, uh, he knows where yeah, the he can AI attacks. Yeah. 
uh, note is going to get to that middle plateau before FTX. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like leaving this early with an ACU. No, especially for only two the makes. score of FTX actually due to that first bomber. Oh yeah. He's already on a T2 max. Yeah, that's so greedy. Just I mean actually like against the first bomber you can kind of do that. <laughs> but I am not I am not sure if this was a planned decision, like a reaction to the first bomber or if this was just his default gameplay. in the south and south will have first contact very soon Cupid is getting uh, Rowan is getting his hydro up yeah Nuggets has a chance to deny the hydro here I think uh, yeah I'm not, not gonna I happen. don't think so yeah. if you look at blood here and farms uh, who's playing as the wheelie currently they're very, very similar with what they've done. They're both kind of matching each other with mexes. Their comms are in very similar position. Yeah, they're, they're kind of chosen to ignore the AI for now. Bloody mm. started his gun upgrade, so maybe that's it's the plan to push the AI with that. <laughs> the AI comms are just walking around <laughs> together. Yeah. They're just patrolling here in the base. Yeah. We see them patrolling the territory, the hill. Okay, in the middle we have big, big common com clashes. I think the game is a bit too loud. Yeah, so far not really a lot happening. FGX is committed to keep building the uh, Tech 1 bombers though. Zero inties on the field for... Uh, yeah, <laughs> like considering the air game, that's a very good idea, yeah. Like, those bombers could be amazing to just kill... Like, look at this Reclaim Engineer clump by uh, Rowan. You just take that L... Yeah, and the radar spotted. as well. Yeah. They're just chewing on uh, notes, auroras for now. Both the AI comms are actually walking towards the wheelie right now. Not sure why they're both over there on that side. Yeah, Maybe it's... he has angered them somehow. Is his score higher? No, he and Bloody they have like very very similar score. Mm. Somehow he, he triggered some aggro. Seems like Bladir's ready to move in now for the big, big push. Actually, it helps quite a bit that both of the AI comms are at farms front right they're, now. They're, so you can just, just as we walk said that, the they base. decided to retreat. Yeah. Maybe the uh, maybe the the uh, UEF pick for the players at the bottom was more about um, the com on com help. Not getting bullied into yeah. early death. The note's kind of been surrounded by the strikers here. FTX is, uh, looks like he's trying to go for a kill, but he's low as well. I mean, if either of them die, it's going to be a draw in the middle. Yeah. Oh, there we have the draw while I was in the options. That's unfortunate. The streamer's curse. Yeah, Note got pushed right the way down, and uh, just before he died, he managed to tip FTX below 2.5k. And that was enough. Farms will be taking over FTX's base. 
something I think he's quite used to. That's a bit mean of me, <laughs> watching his stream. <laughs> I mean, the other way around is quite rare, because FTX usually quits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, oh, in the south, we have a pretty bad scenario for Nuggets. He's like, both are getting their gun, but Rowan is so far ahead. And if he does Rowan has units, intel, so. yeah. But if Rowan has enough intel, he can just deny the, the gun of Nuggets. In come those Tech 1 bombers. Finish off the engineers, which will slow his upgrade down a little bit. But uh, And uh, Nuggets gets two of his own engineers to assist, so he should be catching up. It's just that uh, yeah. Cupid's already done. I think he's, like this is just about where you can... You know, if there's not too many Lobos shooting at the com, you can... Can yeah. tank the damage. But he's gonna have a really big unit disadvantage. Yeah. And uh, if you look at Bloodier, his com, he's pushing all the way into the T2HQ of the uh, dark green AI. Whereas uh, the wheelie is still fighting near his base. Oh, that's actually quite an annoying AI raid in Bloodier's front, uh, front expansion. Like th that raid could are, kill yeah. so many NGs, yeah. Oh, he's reclaiming. <laughs> I feel like Nuggets is going to get surrounded here, but oh. it's not going to be enough. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, how did I... How did <laughs> Rowan die here? Down. Oh wow! No, just got he got focused down by gun, so he was focusing uh, Nuggets units, and Nuggets yeah. was just primarying the com, and uh, the com explosion evened up the units. So now it's uh, Blodder is doing three bases. Yeah, this is not looking particularly good. Also, there's a big raid by by farms. Yeah, that's a great raid there. I don't know if he scouted for that. I guess he did with those T1 scouts. Can see that there's an opening. Yeah, and you can just, you know, walk past. Ah, uh, see, see where? I think it's really on Nuggets Fury. to put the pressure on here. Commander in that bottom Commander. corner. Yeah, like bottom is wide open right now. Mm. There's not really anything stopping the comm. I mean, there's so always a danger. Here, how do you stable the bottom? Do you try and um, reach out some Tech 2 engineers, play some PD? Mm, may, like maybe some PD, but the thing is you can just... If you look here, it's quite a decent T2 Aeon pr uh, production. You know, if you just send 20 blazes onto the gun com, it's gonna die. So that will... that should keep Nuggets from... Mm. Just the threat of getting uh, like overrun by 3 base eco. Should keep Nuggets the on, is, on uh, his toes. Pushing out Nothers right now. There's still no Inties. I think that... Oh no. Bloodier has got a, a pack of Inties up near his com. But the Nothers are gonna... If they go for the TTMXs... Nope, they're going for the power. Oh, Bloodier is playing a dangerous game here. <laughs> yeah. He has a lot of vet on his com though. Yeah, and he had the PD, which was which actually dealt so much damage so far. I just Must don't think it's worth it for him to uh, to try and tango with the AI comms when he's losing the bottom half of his base. But. Yeah. Yeah, it's just also generally super dangerous to get sniped. And the Nothers came in and they took out all of Bloodius T2 power. If I, yeah, that yeah. was all of his T2 pigeons. That's quite nasty. So that was a very, very good snipe. Bombs now has lots of T2 land production himself. Okay, and now we see the blazes. Sh quite a few shifting south, but it's not enough to take out the gun. Yeah, comp. they'll get overcharged. Look, the AI got like shaved down to quite low HP and is doing a nano up 
No repair upgrade right now. Big brain AI. Yeah. Although, standing right next to the energy storage, not quite so big brain. <laughs> Honestly, I think Nuggets should be fine here. Or is he? Mm. Hard to I tell. I mean, he's got a lot of health and regen. Yeah. I need to manually OC. Yeah. Look at this clump. This Such a tasty. <laughs> Do it. Oh, he got it. <laughs> Honestly, I think that saved his life here. The Kubo charge right there. Yeah. And then uh, the wheelie walks into the front of Vladir's base with a pillar and uh, Tham army. There's very few Lobos, and is there even a single Lobo in Farms Mix? I don't think. I think the, oh. the army will just die to the he OPA on walls. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of Tech One PD there. That was a big mass donation. Blodir's cursor, by the way, has not uh, has not been to the south of the map. It's not crossed into the southern hemisphere of this map for several minutes. Yeah. He's, uh, he's working on T3 air. He's going for broadswords. That's taking up all of his concentration right now, I think. That and fending off the AIs. I wonder what he's gonna plan with those broadswords. I don't think he can reasonably threaten the base. Like there's I mean, he can farms kill are nearly on T3. Yeah, that's that's one of the options. And if he's lucky and he does it quick enough, the com explosion will take most of Nugget's army because it's only T2. Is anyone working on T3 land yet? No. Does not look like it. Broadsword and a strat. Okay, he's going for the base. He's not too concerned with nuggets, but just looking at the eco farms has more generated yeah. mass than nuggets. Him saw the uh, well, the accuracy on that broadsword literally terrible. Trying to shoot that radar. <laughs> oh my god. And there's just, like, I Too guess the biggest flag. damage to the broadsword dealt was just forcing a shit ton of mobile flag. But so far it killed 200 mass. ASF comes out of uh, farm space. Yeah. It seems Nuggets is retreating as calm, it seems like. like he'd, yeah, he does not need it anymore to crush the southern base. This game looks pretty over. The broadsword picked over. off a T2 mix, and the strat picked off a couple of tech 2 P gens, but the T3P gen lived. Well, I don't think that was worth it. Nah. Especially not since Bloody Lost Air now. And there's the control K. Okay, control K. So game one goes to the clown car. That was a good try to get back into it with the T three S switch. It just didn't didn't work out for Blodo there. Yeah. Yes. Yes you can. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to defeat all AIs. <laughs> Otherwise, it's a draw. <laughs> it's just who survives longer. What do you think Bloody could have done to kind of bring that game back? Is there anything that he could have... Uh...
right mm, to do there? Not really. Like the big wild card in these AI games is to so you know if they AI just full aggroed on farms team, maybe then something could have worked. But just playing a one v one v two is very hard, especially in a position where you're not ahead. Well, especially where he has to use his com, he has to micro his com against the AI at the same time as uh, yeah. dealing with nuggets being ra a Rambo and farms going for air and tech. Difficult to deal with. So next map is Adaptive Bridge Too Far. I've never seen that. It looks like a penguin map to me. Let's see if I'm correct. The clown car up one zero. It's not a penguin map by Blunts. Let's see. Can Blood is here, team. Bring it back to one all for a final round. Find out next time in Bath Ball Z. I don't see them hosting it yet. No, they first have to figure out which map it is. <laughs> have to find the maps tab in the client. So how many games do we play? Oh, it's round it's one. Best of round three, two. the first round, right? Yeah, yeah. And then we also play the second round today, and then... Yeah, so technically should be eight games. Eight eight matches, but three games each. Yeah. You have to do some quick maths. No, it's... Oh yeah, it's eight matches, because we also have losers bracket. Losers yeah. bracket. Runners up bracket. Try not to be mean. Runners up bracket. That's a very uh, <laughs> positive way. The, uh, crushed, the crushed teams bracket. <laughs> the bottom feeders bracket. Two rats, one goat versus the clown car. Okay, there we go. Oh no, the game. I hate it that the client often thinks I'm still in game. It's a bug. Do you also have that? No, I didn't get that at all. Let me just join ops for this game. Oh, they actually have a team name right now, so... Yeah. Let's give them the honor. Four. We can change it. Two rats and one goat. There's We've quite the a few mixes. Yeah, this is a lot bigger map. Much bigger. And four AIs on 1.2 multiplier. Mm. And I would assume so do you that... Predict the yeah. AI to be more influential here. It depends on how well the AI does on Navy. Like I hope it got sandboxed and it actually does participate in the game. Mm. And I think it could dominate quite a bit.
Group form. Have you played Adaptive Bridge too far before? No, I've never seen the map before. Not even sure if it's new. It's made on the 12th of February, so it is very new. It yeah. might even be, I thought he was sometimes trying to you know, get people to do custom, like maps specifically for this tournament. So maybe I mean, it would make sense if you've got to tune the AI for it to kind of have maps where the AI is going to perform, I guess. Yeah. I feel like Navy probably wins this. Yeah, Navy certainly looks like the like the longer game win condition, and then it's just. You know, uncontested T3 air is always the win condition at minute 12. Mm. Or rather, it's it's a game ender at minute 12, yeah. I'm wondering, is there, is there a land... Does the AI have a land... It looks like it has a land bridge in both directions. Yeah. It depends what the terrain is like for that beach. Yeah. Because that would Whether make quite a the big difference, yeah. Otherwise, it's... Uh, you basically got two AIs channeling into one person on each team. Would make quite interesting, yeah. Are we witnessing the impossible? Oh, they still have to roll. Okay, never mind. Nearly the impossible. Yeah. I think it's pond navy time for this map, to be honest. Yeah. Pond navy. The best navy. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of interested how the fight for the for the middle will turn out cuz it's so far away for the com to get there. Yeah. You can get uh, you know you can get just you can get an early drop off and a proxy up that's already too big for an ACU to crush. 14 mexes. I mean only only kind of 8 9 of them are safe but that's still yeah. That's still a lot. When you've got maybe 10 safe in your base each. Where they got 12. Yeah, whoever holds the island will have basically double the mexes that their opponent will have. I feel like... I don't want to jinx it, but I feel like I'm pretty sure FTX is going to go Riptides. That's my prediction. Oh, there's a... <laughs> Yeah, there's a there's a quite a danger. <laughs> He's already picked you, yeah. Yeah. You can run over the islands on the side. Yeah. It's pretty pretty good, I think. Yeah, hover is I think also on Seaton's hover is a bit underutilized in the term that you know you can just reinforce any front you you want, like any pond you want with hover. Yeah. It's very strong. Yeah, you don't have to do, do big brain strategic decision with, uh, you know, Click my tank. guy is gonna lose. Yeah, Click it's just mix. exactly, yeah. And send where uh want to crush. I think that's even stronger in where you've got multiple people on each team and then you've got two additional teams, basically the AI teams. It's, it's a lot more chaotic and just having a big mass of units that you can just send in any direction and not have to think about the terrain and that is yeah it's just it's just going to help you so much my 1500 rated ladder brain <laughs> thinks it's smart whether it is or not that's another thing entirely
Oh, you're 1500? Yeah, not good though. Oh, congrats though. Why did they not pick you for the game? That's They did not look at the letter rating. <laughs> Probably because they know I'll spend like the first 10 minutes of the game drawing some meme with wall art rather than uh -huh. playing there. <laughs> Uh, chat says that we need to make sure the RNG mod isn't enabled. Uh, let's check the uh, mods manager. Hold on. Like RNG is. RNG AI is enabled. Yeah. Experimental features. So do you want to update people on the other, uh, the other games that have happened? Um, I think we or should we leave we... that a mystery? Yeah, we might want to jump into them. Exactly. Yeah, I don't want to want to spoiler it. If you want to spoil, you can look at the challenge. That's true. I will bring it. I'll have it up on one on the screen just so I can. Yeah, see keep the names track. of the teams since they've done some. <laughs> renaming of themselves since the uh, original brackets were done. Only two games have been played so far, and we've seen one of them, so we're not doing too bad. We are doubling the number of AIs for this match. And they're on both sides of the map rather than just one, so... Yeah, and they have like Given very, very size, juicy bases. Just look at the yeah. bases. <laughs> so many mixes. I feel like they might... If they've got the pathing for Navy, they might be beastly in this one compared to the last one. Where they just kind of like streamed Tech 1 and a few Tech 2 units into PD. Hang on, <laughs> everyone is in the same team. <laughs> Yo, I was just <laughs> realized there. Yeah. Is that right? Team one is red, team two is blue. Red one and two blue. Sounds like it should be that way. Yeah, team run is usually red, I think. Okay, so they've fixed it. The AIs are on. They're in the right positions. They have the right colors, and they have the right numbers. So that means we should be ready. Hang on, is the AI supposed to be in one team? Uh, yes. Because I'm just scrolling through the forum thread, and he specified as like a... Like another color for a second AI team. Oh. I feel like they're so far away from each other that they're probably yeah. not going to. It's not they're probably not too going much. to fight each other anyway, but. Oh, it's supposed to be a rush and an adaptive. Group formed. Is that right? 
Is it? Uh, I, I think the last one people could pick. Um. Oh, okay, now it's specified. Yeah. Wasn't it in one tournament where you could pick the AI for your opponent? <laughs> like the one that would likely interact with your opponent? You know, like just a lot of a specific list. I feel like Cupid and the uh, the blue adaptive comma are supposed to uh, swap colors. Yeah, okay, fixed it. There we go. The AIs have the wrong color. It's a very nice color wheel that we're getting around this map, all the way around the rainbow. Yeah, only only the bottom right AIs they are switched around. It kind of looks ready to me. But the AIs, they have the wrong color arrange. It's going to be an insta loss. <laughs> Is that triggering you? Yes. Are you triggered <laughs> by the fact that the one of one very slightly yes, green yes. is like not in slightly not the right place to a slightly darker green. Yes. And it should trigger uh, you as well if you want to have the correct mindset for this tournament. Uh, this is what Faf is lacking. Trying to make in. the perfect rainbow. We're just waiting for FTX to ready up. Don't worry, he went somewhere else. Let's oh. so put in a message in the chat that we are ready. <laughs> oh no, we need to, need to kick that guy. <laughs> no, oh god. Imagine if we launch the game after all of this. Yeah, you have to type ready because it's not recognizing yes. me right now. Yes, we're ready. We're ready. Yeah, ready. We're more than ready. Okay, we've got game two. We've got two rats and a goat, and that's versus the clown car. On a 20 by 20 map. We've got three teams. We've got the red team. We've got the blue team, and we've got the AI green team. Will the AI morph from a fairly harmless tech one unit spammer into an absolute savage monster that nobody can stop? We will have to find out. That mesh of all the AI, like, uh, the AI mesh of, like, where it wants to go yeah. is uh, disgusting at the start. And one thing I didn't realize when we were looking at the map initially is the uh, the reclaim on the map. There's only 13k, but it's very, very easy to reclaim because it's all in these enormous rocks. Yeah, I mean, they're easy to reclaim unless you misclick, <laughs> you may have noticed. You know, if there's a tiny rock in beneath that big rock. Yeah, you don't you get the, the replay order. Yeah. Like, yeah. perfectly on top of the rock, and you just miss it, and the engineer walks past, like, come on, man. Do your job. <clears throat> so, in the lobby where we were thinking, 
basically, can you get from the AI base to the uh, the carry slot base past that mountain? And I'm not sure you can by land. I think it might be a bit mm. steep. It looks a little bit weird. I th I think it's just is it possible in like from the steepness? I'm pretty sure it's passable, but it looks like with the ruggedness, it's a bit weird. Yeah, uh... I don't know. It's Either at way, least narrow. Work. Yeah, it's at least narrow enough that you don't get large armies through there quickly. Yeah, it's going to be the uh, the single file conga line straight into PD. I think. Yeah. If I was uh, Vlodder or the Wheelie, that's what I would be trying to do to uh, farm some mass off of them. Yeah, and especially just lock down those mixes. And whenever you've got kind of like, like two bases really close to each other. Like, I've cast some games where you've got, like, beginner players, and they play that the bases are really close, and you've just got a high wall, and uh, the amount of TML cheese that comes out in those situations, or uh, the Tech 3 Mobile RT cheese straight over the over the cliff onto yeah. uh, people's mexes. That's great to see. Making yeah. people suffer. Nugget seems to be going for a... Where's... Why is he opening with an interceptor? He's doing a transport, but I'm not sure where he's going to be transporting to. Probably the middle, right? It would make a lot of sense. Bloody yeah. has almost already finished his transport. <clears throat> Cupid finishes his air factory and he's going for inties, probably for support. And uh, Note's going for bombers. So basically or everybody opening air. At least second air. And Cupid is already going into the water with, like, you know, two factories queued up. I think it's a bit too aggressive. I don't know. How many mechs? He's got a lot of mechs, though. Yeah. I mean, he's got one, two, three. He's got 16 mexes already. Like he can afford, he can afford to make some frigates. Yeah, I mean he can, but uh, it's I would rather down. have a couple. Yeah, I would rather have like the, the extra one or two T2 mexes. Because it's quite unlikely you get navy locked that soon. So all three of the transports from. Uh... The clown car team are approaching their respective islands at the same time. It's beautiful. It's it's lovely to see. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's uh, incoming inties and bombers from uh, team two. Yeah, and uh, Bloody already has the proxy down in middle, so I. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I think he will lose it. Like, he will get the factory up, but he will lose the proxy war because he will. You know, he will lose most of his engines. The wheelie is having to micro his engines on the island for, to avoid the bomber. FTX and Note uh, both moving their comms towards the middle. The 14 mechs is there, worth, worth uh, dying for. And a uh, four-minute nano repair started for uh, the adaptive AI in the top corner. That's a very interesting up. <laughs> Especially hey, as... buddy, <laughs> calm yourself down. I mean, <laughs> in theory, he has like three hydros, of which only two are built, but yeah. Uh, the adaptive one in the bottom corner is about to finish gun and already has T2 land. Wow. So, uh, some rapid scaling going on there. I'm so surprised to see that farms and uh, Bloodir are so slow to grab their, you know, horizontal yeah, expansion. Yeah, I would have thought they would have come back with the transport and loaded it up again yeah. and dropped, but... Or just, you know, left walk. with the left with the ACU right after the air factory is finished. That's pretty, pretty weird. I feel like... Um... The clown car team, our red team today, are committing to Navy quite a lot more. they got a lot more build power already on it. Yeah, especially farms. He's really committed to it.
Actually, FTX is like FTX has to think about what to do with this calm. If he doubles yeah. down and tries to, you know, does he go all in for that middle bit? Yeah, just you know, stabilize his proxy. I think he can it's still do that. Huh? Yeah. Like Vladimir made the proxy, but Notes got his calm there. Like. Yeah. But he is not having a great time. No, I it's think he's going to struggle spam. to take that expansion, actually. Yeah. It's, it's just surrounded, and the uh, the AI is bringing his comm out as well. To defend it. Yeah. Like, he would just need maybe two factories worth of units spammed, and I think he could grab it. With the comm, but... That seems to be exactly late. what the wheelie is doing on the bottom in the uh, mirror spot. Yeah. I have questions about what the uh, the AI in the bottom right hand corner is doing with all of these paused NGs, like making torp launches. It's actually pretty <laughs> pretty good question. Yeah. <laughs> what is it's, going on there? It buddy? is storing mass and energy. That's what it's yeah. doing. What it's actually doing is this is incredibly big brained. Is it, it's going okay? Well, I haven't got enough mass storage. So I'm going to store my mass in these torp launches, and then when I'm ready, I'm going to reclaim them and get it back. Amazing, it's actually yeah. just uh, gaming the storage system. That's how smart it is. Oh, Bladir really... I th is Bladir over-investing? I think he's over-investing. He doesn't need those extra factories. He can just... Like, note can just run that down. Yeah. If you look at it, Blood is like base development compared to farms, it's uh, he's a long way behind. Oh, yeah. Due to that proxy and being a bit slower to take his island at the top. Yeah, not having those five maxes that really hurts. You know, they're so close together, they should be easily defendable by the comm. It's actually the two rats and one goat team that's now got a big naval production advantage. Yeah. 13 factories to 5. And FTX has been pushed off of the causeway in mid. Yeah, and actually they have to think about how to stop. How well, to there's stop a whole the bunch army. of... Uh, it's a good job that... Uh, Blood air is UEF because otherwise those Zooey's would be going everywhere right now. Yeah. And I was just looking at the left at Nuggets. And Nuggets had to cancel his T2 upgrade because the uh, oh, <laughs> Nano yeah. Rambo AI was pushing him. <laughs> <laughs> See, it was it was smarter than us. Yeah. The AI yeah. is getting too strong these days. Had a plan. Let's see if it keeps pushing. Might be, yeah. Because right now there's not really anything stopping that ACU. On the right side, Cupid is having a lot easier time. Where's, where's the right a ACU even? Cupid's ACU? Oh, it's in the water. No, the dark, the dark uh, AI. It also made Gun and Nano, but it's just vibing underwater. The bottom uh, AI is uh, trying to dual farms as com. See. And the AI just dropped, airdropped a, a mobile flag. Farmers is actually quite in a dangerous position. There's like a decent T2 There's army coming to support. There's quite a lot of tanks there. Yeah. Does he have overcharge? must have he has one yeah he's yeah. got it but it's getting bombed by another ai <laughs> he nearly <laughs> the lost team it. play the team play my man <laughs> the team play from the ais let's go 
<laughs> That's some synergy, some 2k rated AI synergy right there. Yeah. <laughs> but you just dropped a random random mech marines on the long island to kill off AI Zuis, which is very interesting. Farm's losing his subs to uh, talk bombers from the uh, from Cupid. Oh, that hurts. But Farms has T two Navy out and already the first Destro, so the yeah, base no should T2 be safe. Navy. But how the hell did? Last time I was looking, the army was not that big. How the hell did he lose two T two Maxes to to that army? That hurts. Hate to see it. It's a 3k reclaim dropped though. From that army. Yeah. Farms is farming some vet on the rhinos. <coughs> down to half health though and uh, if you look at his AI opponent just over the cliff it is producing Corsairs oh <laughs> <laughs> imagine <laughs> getting, getting sniped that would be pretty getting cool. like 11 minute Corsair sniped before you have ASF by an AI let's go yeah oh talking about ASF FTX ASF production is up and so is the one of note Seemed like they had pretty much like minute 11 peach and timing. It looks like he used the gunships actually. He's got some tech 2 gunships with veterancy. It looks like he used that to finish off the army. Yeah, yeah. Lodu has now secured his top island and farms has been pushed back from those five extra maxes, so... Uh... Yeah. I mean, he will get them back with the destroyer, with the gun, yeah. but yeah. I generally was looking at map control. Northern, Northern team has, like, Rodi's team has way more. It has one of the long islands, it has the big center one. Rodi controls well, more of his yeah, that expansion, middle but. Is worth a lot of, uh, yeah. But the North expansion is looking a bit scary right now. Yeah, it's a lot of tech 2 units. Yeah, he has T2 build power over there, but. I would assume that the AI is capable of actually using MMLs to kill PD. Okay, that top player on score currently is FTX. Oh, because he has the second Peachin probably. FTX will will have air control in a, like yeah. in a couple of minutes. He's been he's, scaling he's his a couple air of minutes ahead in air build. Yeah. <clears throat> Especially if uh, uh, the wheelie is allowed to keep his cruisers. Yeah. yeah. That cruiser should be able to take care of, you know, just deny most part of the middle. Middle maxes. I like how Nuggets has drawn a fish with his uh, frigates in the ocean. It's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Underappreciated. Nice. That's the, um, you know. He's got time to the stop wall. and be an artist. Yeah, yeah, from <laughs> the wall. <laughs> from the wall arch builder. That's <laughs> something only you notice. Actually, can that AI die here? Which one? The northern oh. one. But he has his, all of his frigates there. I'm surprised. I feel like the frigates are gonna die. Yeah. So the rocket Actually, bots. they do. <laughs> like, the rocket bots outrange them, right? Yeah. That's quite an expensive loss of frigates for Bloody, though. Yeah, it's not too great. I mean, it bought him some time to, you know, lock to get down. That PD up. Yeah, lock down with the PD. Which already died.
AI has stopped producing Corsairs on the bottom and is now going for T3 Air. Uh, interestingly, choosing no adjacency for its T3P gen. Ah, uh, Jagged would be very upset. I stand corrected. It's got adjacency to uh, a T2 uh, factory. Is very that smart. actually adjacent to me to look it might, be a, it might actually be a square off. We'll yeah. Have to see when it finishes. I thought it was going to do it next to the uh, the the e-storage. No. I'm just looking at income, it's very very similar over the teams. Only uh, Nuggets struggling a bit. Nuggets finally got the T2. Uh, Firebase up in the south. Yeah, he now gets that. to farm some reclaim. And his T2 Navy. Cupid is definitely uh, abusing that stealth comm. He's almost got full. He's a uh, four star vet on his comm. Yeah. And uh, the AI not able to deal with stealth. AI is going to go on the. Uh, on the forums later, complain about stealth to the balance <laughs> team. Uh, I don't. Uh, Bladia, uh, if I was in Bladia's position in Center Island, I would be very <laughs> sure. It's basically, what you have to do is just, you know, immediately rebuild the Maxis when they are killed by the cruiser. So it's just a constant click fest. Very annoying. Yeah, the Tech One mechs is almost aren't worth killing. Yeah. Like you're just gonna. Yeah, it's like it's worth denying the spot. Fun. Yeah, it's not really worth killing it. It just needs to stay denied. P3 mechs, two T3 mechs for the wheelie. We've got one T3 mechs for FTX. None yet. For nuggets, quite a yeah. Uh, I wonder why Note, Note didn't do one because he even delayed his, you mm. know, aggregate scaling. Has two. <clears throat> but he also the went T3. I think that's a big mistake, actually. I wonder if it was miscommunication or. Oh, and the Corsairs, they went for... Some Corsairs, AI Corsairs went, yeah. They just... They seem to be, like, patrolling, like, doing an anti-air thing, though. They're not, they didn't... Yeah. Didn't they damage anything. The oh, they did one shot at a max, but that's... Not even the, the cap died. I think the players are stabilizing. The AI has been pushed back into their kind of their bases on both sides. Yeah, especially in the south, the like, Rowan is pushing hard. The AI is being kept in check with by the Destro. There's a gun call. Some people in chat are asking you to uh, scale up your UI size because uh, you are a giant screened master race. Yes, unfortunately, um, that's not. Can... No, oh there is God. a mod that lets you do it, but I don't think you can do it. You can't do it mid game. You can it, cannot do it mid game, and I, I'm not no. sure the mods are always were super buggy for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm sorry about that. This is <laughs> the biggest issue of Fab no proper UI scaling. Do you want to do a. Uh... ASF count. I guess we can't swap to their views, so it's kind of hard. They both can look you not? about can. the same Oh, you size. have got... Uh, I have the uh, superior scoreboard. Uh, uh, it's 50 versus... 43, so FTX is still slightly ahead. He does look ahead. It's like 4 pigeons versus... Also 4 pigeons. So this is... I think this is going to be the first... Um, the first big naval engage. Note is... Um, 
Sorry, oh, Nuggets no. is pushing into Blood Ear. Yeah, and Blood Ear does not really... He's got two destroyers really in there to uh, Yeah, he does... Blood Ear can't <clears throat> really contest this. Again. If he, if, yeah, yeah, dangerous. Very Again, dangerous. T3 but, air, oh, yeah. big mistake by Bloody. He could have had T2 air and, you know, like three Destros. His comm is, uh, is retreating. Yeah, he will lose. He will lose 70% uh, HQ probably. I think the Destros should be able to. Re yeah, the Destros should be able to. And all those T2 Mexes as well. The Torp Bombers go for the uh, the undamaged Destroyer, which is a bit unfortunate, and then they get immediately zapped by the big ball of ASF. I think Bloody's team, they have more ASF combined. It's just a matter, like this will be just a matter of engagement and coordination now. Teamwork. Yeah. That's what it is. all about the top of the map right now down at the bottom it's just uh farms and his uh, ai opponent down here mcs 500 are just chilling really there's almost nothing happening between them i think the ais are focusing on Cup cupid instead since yeah. he's more of a threat he's just farming a lot of mass down there E3 sonar out for the wheelie. Oh, Farms nearly went for a T3 HQ. But for some reason he paused it. I guess just to finish the T3 max, like 90%. Or well, maybe he doesn't want to show it. Is this the next gen strategy? <laughs> he's hiding it. No, he's not. He's back on. He was just waiting for his maxes. The factory is now idle, though. There's the battle cruiser. I guess with that he wants to, you know, just threaten the whole pond. Well, I mean, Cupid could probably push right now and crush. He's got so much more navy than Farms does. But, uh, yeah. the longer he sits there, he'll get outscaled. I mean, one battle cruiser will already even the odds. That's the beauty of it. But he definitely could have. Like Farms wasn't definitely. He could have was definitely like, threatened here. Last yeah. few minutes and done a lot of damage. He's busy bombarding the uh, the AI. Poor AI player who's sitting in a shield with Nano. Yeah. Bloodier is not having a great time. He lost every T2 Max there. Now his yeah. HQ is gonna die. He's making so... Riptides yeah. from his HQ. It's a shame we didn't see any Riptide, Riptide spam by FTX. I think it would have been really strong. Would have been fun, yeah. There's some slight air engagements, but no real... Oh, there's the commitment by FTX, Ooh. and FTX seems to be absolutely crushing oh, here. He no. got behind. Poor Bloodier. Bloodier ran away too late. Note is turning in. Unfortunately, it doesn't get caught. Yeah, he could have lost all of his air as well, though. Yeah. Careful. Like, if you just look at the combined cloud, it's still comparative in size. It's just, again... Two air players is always, always a big issue. The battle cruiser is out on the bottom and heading towards Cupid's uh, stationary frigates, which is the the uh, favorite food of the battle cruiser is actually tridents. 
the very hungry battle cruiser. Will the AI Max finish? No. Cupid just killed off like 4k reclaim for him. The uh, bottom AI actually has an anti nuke loading. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> actually, both of the. Uh, uh, Both of the top corner and the bottom corner AIs have anti-nukes. I think the rush AI needs to, you know, reconsider their That's not uh, rushing, eco buddy. priorities. Yeah, it's just Sitting making with, uh, an S and a monkey lord of T2 Maxes. Unringed T2 Maxes. Time to make anti-nukes and experimentals, boys. So let's see if Farms will rescue the AI under siege. Yes, he's going to defend the AI. The uh, 1100 rated AI, who's getting bullied. Yeah. Oh, and it seems like the Riptides... Yeah, the Shift G'd. Just got to be really careful with Shift G'ing into, like, the Exodus, because it lands one that's going to hit, like, three or four of your Riptides. Yeah. But I had a very hurt. unfortunate experience as um, uh, Aeon against Riptides. I feel like Riptides actually are more efficient than frigates in high numbers, just because they're so much they're so much denser, you know, like formation-wise. Yeah. Especially in a narrow like in an area like this, it's perfect because the frigates can't get around them and. Yeah. The Riptides can just bug out either side if they really want to. Look how many Navy factories Bloodier made. And he's got his own battlecruiser on the way. Okay, and Farms is pushing hard now. Yeah. So this is looking really bad for Bloodier's team. I don't think there's any... Do we have a nuke or... Anything I don't see any disruptive. nukes in any of the players' bases. FGX is What's... basically finishing off his last TT Max. Um, would you look at Rowan's base <laughs> for a second? <laughs> Why? <laughs> you made Raz boys. <laughs> That's a lot of hives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> like, everything oh, is falling I'm not apart sure about everywhere that one. else and. He's just there, vibing, you know. Making Ras boys. Yeah, I'm, I'm winning my lane, guys. Yeah, it's, it's Is that it's what's fine. going on? They swapped <laughs> accounts. Yeah. Farms is on 680... No, 670 mass per second. I mean... Oh, this they can put their resources together at that much and spam. Oh, the actually, Rowan is dead. He's in range of the battle cruiser. Maybe oh. stealth? No, I think he's right. No, he's not right clicked. So you actually get away. He has a lot of regen. Yeah. The I battle mean, cruiser got really confused close. actually, and it's now eating fire from everywhere. So if you're Bloodier's team now, you're on the voice comms of Bloodier, how do you try and even this match up? Mm. I feel an air win. If you manage to pull off an air win, you could definitely get... Air win and then get, the navies. Yeah, get back into the game or, you know, just air win and threaten to raid I every I mean, Cupid's mix. got a, uh, he's got a battleship out which should deal with the, uh... Yeah the Neptune, but he's kind of let another whole part of Farms' navy through. The farms is just spamming. If you look at his navy production, he's just full spam mode now. Yeah, he's Battle just committed now. It's the, yeah. the battle for the pond has started. He's doing the navy monkey push. It's yeah, but all in. Cupid has also very good amount of build power. For some reason he started a monkey lord. 
And the AI is raiding his T3 Nexus. <laughs> just, uh, you hate to see well, the that. AI is going to finish its own Monkey Lord. And uh, also, by the way, has half built a nuke. Oh, the northern Both one, AIs yeah. are halfway through a nuke. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> Who has anti-nuke? Uh, well, Bloodir doesn't. Note doesn't. Yet, the only player who has an anti-nuke is FTX at the moment. Yeah. I wonder if the AI is actually... Because right now it's just constantly stalling slightly. If the AI is capable to load the nuke without stalling. Because <laughs> this seems to be like an an issue an AI might run into in building a nuke. Is Cupid going to be able to hold Navy here? That's the question. With I'm his battleship. sure. The, He's like, going to have one, two, three... Uh, four. He's, he's got like four he has enough, basically He has enough done. battleships, but he doesn't have... He needs frigates. Yeah, exactly. Like, farms could just, you know, shift G into the production right now. Right into the middle. Yeah, just take out all the engineers and then, you know, eventually the battleships will die. Sir, uh, Tempest of the Lake, what is your wisdom? <laughs> well, Cupid, you need more frigates. But at this point... I think he could uh, settle for Riptides or really anything floaty. Yeah. Yenzines maybe, or Zooies even. Anything to keep things away from his uh, battleships. He's stalling like crazy. That Monkey Lord was a mistake. He's gonna lose Navy for it. Don't worry, the Monkey Lord will protect the T1 engineers assisting the factory. Ultimate build power protection. Those battle cruisers have insane vet already. The uh, the battleships are aren't on uh, battle cruiser or battleship priority either. They're sort of, they're going for the frigates, so they're overkilling the frigates. Actually, I think uh, Rowan could easily stabilize by just building harms. He could build harms. Just build yeah. the bullshit cy cyber unit. Because he is building harms, actually. He's got brass boys. He's going full, full Setons. I mean, why not? It is a tournament game, right? You're supposed to try hard in a tournament game. I feel like it's yeah. allowed. Yeah, I get a special exception here. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like he's got like 50 brass boys building them in two seconds each, and the game is at minus four. So, uh... Yeah, but this pond does not look like... It's not look, looking like he can hold the pond. I think it's too late. Yeah. Uh, Nuggets are swapped to restore a spam because they have air control, so why not? And he's just gonna wipe the middle island. I think the AIs are stalling. They maybe need more, um, they probably need more eco advantage. Yeah, they just, the rush, oh, the adaptive AI just made uncapped, me. Does, does not cap its no. T3 maxes, that's such a shame, yeah. Something must have broken. The, uh, the top AI, the one with the most score, has finished its nuke, it is loading, but I think it's stalling, because it's, it's loading slower than it should. It is working on a chicken, though. It's got a chicken half done. Yeah, and the Monkey Lord in the north is finished and is going for Bloodier Space. It's got I some think. really weird move order, though. Yeah. It's... Yeah. It's also got a brick, which is heading for uh, Cupid's artillery. I don't know why that is, but... Uh... <laughs> It has a mission. It's gonna go all the way across the map to deal with that. Poor Cupid has resorted to the, uh... 
He probably feels like he's playing beach right now on Seaton as he's artillery spamming. Yeah. Oh, but the RT is in range of frigates. It's always bad when you get to that stage. And uh, the wheelie also starts a nuke. Nuke, pretty nice. good unit. Where's the new? Oh, there. there it Especially is, yeah. since they can probably pick off the antis with their navy. Yeah. Now, honestly, this game is pretty much over because the whole northern air grid is under threat from cruisers now. Yeah, battle cruisers won't reach it, but cruisers can just shred it. Is this going to be the air engage here? No, it pulls away, it just takes away some of the restorers. There's only three cruisers in that wheelie navy. Who has more ASF if you combine, Can combine the top the ones? Counting. It's 364 FTX, 204 notes, and 100 for Bladir. So, slight advantage for the bottom team. Especially over cruisers. Yeah. Is, is Bloodier doing any... I don't see any kind of last ditch Counter. effort here. No. Well, he's queued up a Mavor in his base. Hmm. Uh, questionable. Qu in the questionable indeed. Are the cruisers, they might even be able to. Do you think the cruisers can hit it from uh, South Pond? Maybe. Actually, I think so, yeah. I mean, I feel like the UEF battleship, if Wheelie really makes them, parks them in the middle of the base, to be able to delete Bloody's Navy facility as well. Yeah. This and was such someone a good popped. Range. Who popped? Oh, it was a boy. It was probably. a Rass boy. Not the boys! You can't <laughs> kill the boys, that's illegal. That's a war crime. It's against the rules, as a certain yeah, player might say. Yeah, you can't say. kill innocent boys like that. T3 Max is getting deleted. And Rowan gave all of his T3 Maxes to Bloody Ear. So on the north we have Monkey Lord versus yeah. Shift Monkey Jeep Lord versus Frigates and a BC. <laughs> Monkey Lord versus a couple of Percivals and some T2 Maxes. Now, the problem with playing this like rock, like in Setons, when you get navy to death, is that uh, you can't, there's no big mountain to hide behind here for uh, note. I feel like he is going to lose his entire air grid to cruisers. Yeah. I mean, you can, like, cruisers will not really penetrate that amount of TMD. I'm wondering whether. Oh, farm spilled two nuke subs, so I guess that's a long term plan. They're going for nukes. nukes FTX nukes has got nukes. half a duke finished. Got your UEF gameplay. Can't actually reach anything. That's always the question with T3 RT. It can reach the Maver, okay. But, but it I mean, wouldn't be able to kill matter, the aircraft. Yeah. The light green AI is actually half loaded on its nuke. 
light green. Where is the But the only target you can is... really go for on the bottom team is note space. And FTX has an eye. He's got the eye of Rian, so he can oh, see. Yeah. His, there's no hiding that Mabel. Yeah, they've all also already pinged it. I saw on the POV. The Monkey Lord is by Rowan is so weird. It's like in the AI base right now. Finally, so, those torps are gonna. This is this is the moment when the AI is gonna continue building those torps and kill the monkey. <laughs> it was. It was oh, yeah. knew it all the way from the start. <laughs> Actually, it's gonna cost it a bit, quite Completely a bit of HP. Predicted and outplayed. Yeah. Because that could have been a pretty fun. You know, maybe it makes it to farm space. That all the way around the fun. Yeah, all the way around. Yeah. Is that the? Uh, it's not got that as a move order, but it potentially. I think could. that's the plan. Yeah. Yeah, no shield or gun on farms comp, so he's not going to be able to overcharge it. I mean, I think they have to try something like that now. Yeah. But honestly, I don't... Like, that monkey lot on its own won't be enough. And something tells me Bloodio will not be loading. Oh, he has mass in the bank. Where is SMDs? Does he have an SMD? He has one, which is just has just been built, so the Maver is just gonna die to nukes. Yeah, there's no point storing mass in the bank for the next game if you're gonna go two 0 down. AI nuke at sixty percent. I'm kind of surprised Nuggets hasn't pushed in with his battleships, actually. He has four battleships. Oh yeah, he could absolutely He could He stomp. could basically end the game, I think, Yeah. if he pushed with that. Because it will just kill the Sams and then... What's Nuggets working on? Uh, he's making Teledef for his anti-nuke. Uh, Very interesting. Imagine if the AI would do tele. That would be amazing. At some Somebody point. gets tele mazed by the AI. I would love that so much. I'm just surprised no one killed off an AI base so far, because you know it would be worth for the mass. You can kill it There's off a with lot maybe of for free. Bases, but... Yeah. Like especially because it's killable by battle cruisers, I think. Oh, but it's full share though, right? So mm, you can't, you have to commit quite a lot of resources to kill everything. Yeah. You can't yeah. just snipe the ACU. Mm. Because they're all on the same team. Stalling. If they were on different teams, you could kind of race a fighter down there, kill both commanders, everything would pop, and then you can just reclaim it. But it would yeah. just go to the other side. The Mavor is actually 30% right now. FTX is Duke, just finished. It's uh, very slowly turning its turret around. So we have got five nuke subs by farms. Like some of them, fifty percent loaded. Actually, those nuke subs could just reach the maver with the TML. Might I think it's worth to just shoot the maver with the TML when the duke is also firing at it? To just Think you know, all up and then just. 
Yeah. Hold fire, yeah. sync them up, and then just launch at it. Yeah. Especially since uh, Blodder seems to be power stalling every now and then. You might just get lucky and end the game. Yeah. And I mean, it's just, you know, Wait, it's who's, 10k who has, damage who, in the volume. Who just or something. finished laser? Someone finished laser? Or is it a Someone monkey just finished firing? laser and started telly. Well, who did this? I can't see without the. Uh... I do not know. Is it Cupid? Yes, it is. Yeah, he's at the back. I see. So that will be a last roll of the dice, right? They're trying to hold for the Mabel to finish. And then... I'm wondering what I mean, they're FTX's going for. Face only has tele-defense around the anti-nuke. The, uh, at the back, there's none. And there's yeah. none around farms this nuke either. So he could tele and kill farms. He's, he's quite vulnerable to that right now. I'm not sure why he's not in the water. Actually, killing farms would be an amazing move. Yeah. Because it would, so they you know, reset the all the all the nuke subs. If you killed farms, that would yeah. buy you a couple more minutes. They launched the nuke of farms, and he already started moving his comms. So that's not gonna. Yeah. Does he not have an SMD? He does, and it's loaded. So. Yeah. Uh... The that was the AI nuke, by the way. It's oh, going to be okay. deflected by FTX's nuke, de nuke defense. I'm up BRB. Gotta go to the bathroom real quick. But that is going to prompt farms to go into the water where he probably already should have been. And that's going to make him out of... Like, he won't be able to get tellied by Cupid's Mazo now. So the AI... Helping... The, uh, the bottom team, the red team. The clown car team. Seven minutes to, to finish the telly. That's very slow. The Mavor is going to finish before then. But, uh, in comes the artillery fire from FTX's Duke. He's got a second one half built. And those shells are already landing in Bloody's base. So I think it's safe to assume that the uh, the bottom the bottom AI will nuke the com as well, right? Just drop it on the ACU. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Blood is going to have to start shield assisting for the. Uh, or the Maver. Yeah, it's gonna have to start shield assisting the Maver against the Dukes. I'm really surprised that Nuggets hasn't just YOLO'd his battleships in. I feel like if the Maver starts firing, he will have to. Yeah. Mm, I'm not Navy. sure if Nuggets could actually push right now. There's. What is it? One, four two, battleships three, four. versus yeah, five, and up. it's CUEF versus here. Uh... He's actually paused all this navy, apart from uh, the nuke subs. Farms is enjoying the terrain. He's actually uh, MVP is going to go to this mountain outside uh, <laughs> Note Space. Oh, the monkey lord is still on its way. <laughs> Let's go. Why is it? Why is it going there? It could just. Oh, it should come up in the base. Could just send it. Okay, yeah. it's been given another command. Yeah. It's going all the way to the back, all the way right to the back to where. Oh, he is. could actually go for the dukes. Yes. Let's go. When will it arrive? In like four minutes. <laughs> four minutes. <laughs> Where's the slow CPU? Minus three. Oh, good old friend Farms slowing down everything. He's using that potato PC. Yeah. <laughs> like the, both of the top AIs are currently funding the Maver. 
I think yeah. they're pumping like 200 mass per second worth Thank of reclaim into. Thank you, into, cool. Yeah. <laughs> into bloody... A4 is at 70%. I wonder what bloody's reclaim is there. A yeah, bloody is on a 100k reclaim. And I think it was nearly all of it from the AI. He didn't really fight anywhere uh, else. Nose is about to get a pretty good scout out of um, Nuggets and FTX's base, I think, here with his scout planes. They've been going all the way around the map for like a minute. Oh, yeah. Nuggets is just massing straps. Such a shame that farms moved into the water like a sensible man. Yeah, no, but well, didn't, luckily didn't, he's didn't moved realize. Back out. <laughs> ah, <laughs> <nice>. <laughs> no, but he didn't realize he could kill the mave or at least you know edge fire onto the shields, and because mm. that like three battleships firing at that or yeah, four battleships just, that would draw, like, down it. the shields. Yeah, that is like one of the really strong things of the UAF battleship. That range is so good. They're just not good at killing other battleships so well close up, but base-wise, yeah. they're pretty good. Oh, why is the... Oh, no! No, this cannot be happening. The Look at the Lord monkey lock. It's, oh, it's humping it's... the ground. No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. It's usually not really possible to get it unstuck, at least in my experience. It's doing a little cybron dance. That was a real po that was a real uh, a real possibility of uh, doing yeah. some damage there. Well, I don't know what the terrain is like under the ocean there, but it's gotten stuck on a cliff. The deep sea explorer, monkey lord, <laughs> is exploring the trench. Finally, the <laughs> Raz boy got killed by. Battle cruisers take forever to chew through that stuff. FTX finishes his second uh, RT. Q's up a third, but the Mavor is uh, eighty percent done. Hopefully, if, uh, let's say theoretically, if the clown car team does win, I think uh, they should donate some of the funds to uh, getting farms a slightly better CPU. Yeah. Mm, farms nuke is loaded. Yeah. It hasn't been given a pre-fire though, so... Yeah, um, I guess they're has... waiting to snipe an anti-nuke? They don't even need to. He has got two more loaded in, in nuke subs. Yeah. And there's one in the SMD. And I think it's the only SMD. Yeah. So this would be dead right now. I think the strat... Where are the strats going? Are they going for the anti-nuke? Or are they going for the Mavor? They're kind of just like... Okay, he's sending the strats mm. and the anti-nuke, right? And he's going to force an air engage. That seems like the logical choice. The AI just constantly nukes farms. Like his corn, that is so weird. Oh. Air engage. I nearly missed that. Is that is it gonna? Has they killed enough strats? No, I don't think they have. Yeah, that's a dead S and D. Oh, oh, shields no, came it's back. <laughs> oh my god, this was this was clutch. The shield popped back on. Let's go. Oh, did they lose air for that though? 
Bloody, come back with your air. The turnaround. <laughs> no, actually, is going to win air here. Uh, that's going to put all the restorers under threat. There's just random strats being rallied in, but they're not going to get through. Yeah. And, uh... Oh, the farms artillery is launching. got through, though. Yeah, and Farms... I think Farms is launching all of his nukes now. Is he loaded on the... He's loaded uh, on enough nuke subs, but he just launched his main He's got nuke. one nuke sub. Oh, one, two... Yeah, the nukes are all going for the Mavor. All the engineers immediately assist the... Uh, the SMD. He can load a second one if he's fast, yeah, but, but there's he can't three. load a third one. So they've won air, but it's cost them the Mavor and their base. And all the... He's got a whole bunch of shield bubble boys as well. What a legend. <laughs> Wait, uh, Cupid has finished his telly, right? Where did he go? Oh, he went for farms. And farms is actually dead. Farms is dead. <laughs> there goes the anti-nuke, but one of them is going to land. The nuke is going to land on the Mave, or... Will Nuggets get it? No. Cupid's not going to get out. He gets picked off by a battleship that just happened to be casually strolling past. The Mavel gets deleted by the nukes. Cupid dies to strat bombers and battleships. So that leaves Nuggets with all the navy in the world. FTX with a whole bunch of T3 RT. Oh, I see. The, <laughs> the like all the buildings got mixed up. Who got which? Oh. And yeah. The, this um... is... Oh, I was going to say, the uh, the Monkey Lord got passed to Bloodir when Cupid died, and it stopped being stuck, so it's technically unstuck at the moment. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but then the AI is going to nuke the Monkey Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is AI random Classic choices. Classic faff game right there. Yeah. Classic faff. Let's go. Like, honestly, <laughs> I think there was a scenario where... North team would have maybe gotten the naval up yeah, without they could have getting held nuked. Because if you think of if you think just if the monkey lord just walked, the monkey you know, lord past, comes up. yeah kills all the power that farms has. I don't think FTX has really enough power to do what he's doing and also support farms nuke loading. That would have delayed most of the nukes. I feel like if the monkey had killed off one of the nuke the nuke launcher. Then yeah. they would have been able to keep the Mavor. Because they already got lucky with the strats. Or it could have come up behind the... Uh, it could have come up behind the... Artilleries. Yeah. And could have just killed the main base. Classic Faf. I actually enjoyed that game. I thought that was a good one. Yeah. Long enough to see uh, some kind of like long-term strategic plays and sneaky stuff being tried. Commiserations to the two rats, one goat team. Uh, they did stay in it. They risked everything on the Mavor. Um, great, great try. Could have handed to them for staying in there, not not giving up. And congratulations to uh, the clown car for crushing their enemies with overwhelming navy, naval power. That was a good series. I like that game. That's yeah. a good one to kick the tournament off. That was nice. 
So what will we watch next? And is Grimplex actually playing? Go on, Grimplex. I believe in you. You can beat depression and crush your enemies. No, he's not playing. He's offline. It's the the other game is the second one uh, on Adaptive Bridge Too Far, and it's uh, Esperanto's team. Oh, he is actually playing. I am very confused because he told me that Protect was supposed to play in his team but didn't show up. Now Protect is playing in some other team. He's playing with Yudi and Arch. Aos. Is there any lobby host? Yeah, I guess we could join that one lobby. Because it doesn't seem like any of the second round games will start soon. And everything is absolutely bugged again. So what we've learned about the AI is it will nuke the highest rated player unless you happen to be a monkey lord that's stuck on terrain, at which point you're more of a threat. Yes. That is that is AI logic <laughs> right there. The AI the AI always wins. So the AI crushes. I feel like Faf is like one of the few games where you actually will get your ass kicked by the AI. I know they put some new difficult AIs into Age of Empires 2. It just doesn't crush okay. quite so hard as the AI in Faf sometimes. Like when you're a new player and you join the co-op AI and you're like, oh yes, I'm going to play the AI and you pick the first Faf map and it literally dunks you to death. It just like spams you with gunships and then walks experimentally oh, yeah. into your base. And you're like, oh jeez. <laughs> What is this game? I like the campaigns, they're actually hard. That's nice. Yeah. yeah, the campaign, the FAF campaign is great. Yeah. But generally, the I, I don't know how good the, you know, AI is just in a 1v1 matchup in other games, but I feel like most, like even the best AIs are beatable on a, when they are on a factor of two scaling. Yeah, they just don't fight very efficiently. Yeah. It's still better than the old StarCraft AIs, where you used to be able to just send one worker to the enemy base, like poke its command center or whatever, and then it would just ring around the rosy around the command center with your worker for like three minutes whilst you built up a base and it had nothing. So we're, we're, we're getting there. We're making improvements. Are you able to join that lobby? Which one? Um, hosted by Control k Oh, great. Now it launched and it opened six instances of Forged Alliance for me. Oof. Yeah, oof. Oh, oh no. So the game launched. Because I, I got a uh, a fail to connect. So I guess yeah, the game just, is gone. I'm just failing to connect. I can't connect to that game. Oh, I think it's a ghost lobby, actually. Yeah, it's a ghost lobby. It doesn't exist. Jip, help us. You're our only hope. <laughs> so, um... I guess we just watch replay now. Oh, 
Well, since the uh, the only team to play, you've got Swackle's team. Uh, their their ga- their series has played one game, and uh, Grimplex's team has played one game. So technically, they've still got one more to play. So you can catch up on that and then see another one live. Yeah. Um, the Tagada one is already finished. So I'd uh, go for one of the ones that you can watch the second yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. I you kind think of... we'll watch UD versus. Yeah. Um, I'm just UD Arch and yeah, yeah. versus like with Slow Grimplex and team. I'm not even sure if they're playing right now because he's not online anymore. <laughs> Challenge says says that they've played one game. Yeah. Okay, but let's just rewatch the um, yeah the first game of UD versus Wackle Crushers Crushers. And I'm assuming <laughs> there were there's three games on that map with the with that team constellation. So there must have been some issues regard probably regarding colors and teams. So we're gonna yeah, the most recent game I guess. Do you have it? In my path, the most recent game that uh, that UD played is on Selkie Island, so something's something is off because Faf has set the year that I want to watch the replay for uh, the eleventh hmm. of. March to 2022 and not 2023. Thank you very much, Fav. Oh yeah, which of the three games is it? Uh, I'm assuming the most recent one. Yeah. They must have had to replay it. Yeah, yeah. The game itself is bugged? Gingerbread Man? It's bugged. They're stuck in the game. Or the game is really long or something. It's talking the Olus mm. or live replays. Okay. Oh, and Ryan just PM'd me to for UI scaling. Where is it even? Oh, no, you can't change UI in... Ah, restart here. Okay, I'm loading into the replay. Everything is so big. <laughs> Do you feel like you're an elderly citizen who's just put their glasses on and yes. suddenly, you know, you had to turn the the text size up? Yes. That yes. is something that, you know, when you when you become an older person, you gets to that time in your life where you have to scale up the text size in Windows or your operating system of choice, other operating systems exist. And that that's when you've that's when you've become like middle-aged. <laughs> I've I, I've I've already had to scale the text up once. I'm on 125. percent If or it deteriorates further, I'm gonna have to go up to 150. Yeah, need a big <laughs> screen then. Okay, I'm loading it in the replay. Yep, yeah, I'm there. Okay, you then press I... play. I'm just yeah, going to uh, just drop the go. correct challenge link into chat because the bot is actually spamming. Oh, the wrong one. one, which is very helpful of it. Oh. AI doesn't even know what the right the right link is. Professional casters. Crushes crushes twenty five hundred players. Can't paste the correct link. <laughs> so that is um, a bath AI. 
So is it a slow bully and who's flowy? I don't know. I don't remember. I, I really struggle with faff names at the players yes, right? because they change their, their their names all the time. It's like a I used to think it was like a Zoomer attentions thing, like <laughs> attention span. Like too used to TikToks, so you have to change your name every yeah, three seconds. Yeah. But Floyd it's really is struggling one punch to keep man. up. Yeah. Let me let me um so while you you you've got the screen control, so I will I will look up Flowey and I will tell you who it is. Yeah, I, I found it already. It's uh, One Punch Man. It's a Russian player. Uh -huh. Yeah, we've got Arch and Protect and Yudi. So there's the Seton's gang and Arch. Yeah. I wonder why Arch... Arch must have gotten stolen from Bloodier. Is he a substitute? No. So, no air spam like that. Remember the last time we had players going for air? FTX went first bomber. There is not a single air factory queued up anywhere on the map for any player. At 1 minute 30. Yeah. I mean, so slow is going spam. second air right now, but yeah. Oh, it's not, I just, I not too crazy. 1, 2, 3. Oh yeah, you're right. He is going second air. The AI has opened exactly the same as they did last time, by the way. Two labs and a Yeah, a I also noticed that. Labs get hushed away. Oh, this, the IC actually seems to be microing the labs away from the tanks. But not well enough. Some attempts have been made to avoid the tank. That's pretty good. I think we should name the AIs. I think they should get names. So that we can uh, distinguish them. Because we're like, yeah, the green AI at the top. Yeah. We're like, yeah, about that, buddy. I guess we could just use the ones they've been given by the game, but I'm so bad I... with names. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even see it. Bingham and Smolko. Bingham and Smolko. I mean, he's literally named Small. Yeah, so very small AI. That's small <laughs> AI. So uh, I'm going to be cheering for the small AI. You're going to cheer for small, okay? Yeah, that's right. I'm going to cheer for Bing. Maybe <laughs> Bing has some advanced like yeah. GPT features. Yeah. Small's lab is absolutely crushing Ark here. It's already got two, and it's like Don't in the base. Engineer. Let's <laughs> go! Yeah, he might cross it away from the engineer as well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Small. Is it gonna, uh, gonna Is it gonna grab another NG? Oh, like I'm at minute uh, four right now. Ark is, Ark is re repairing the, the mechs. mechs. Yeah. But Yudi comes in to the rescue. Bonks. In the lab. No. Oh, I didn't uh, realize. I, all of Ark's reclaim engines got raided by uh, Slow. Yeah. Like, Ark just went absolutely... Ooh, like he's building engines out of all of his three factories. Oh my god, this... Ah... Uh... They're probably gonna get a 2v2 on the bottom instead of a 1v1 like we had yeah, last time. Yeah, and I think it's incredibly questionable if you look at Yudi's base, the AI has already raided his reclaim engines there. It seems like Yudi's okay. team did not do any prep at all for this tournament. I mean, he's about to get raided by Bingham. I yeah. think this is the right course of action. We should call them by their names. Yeah, yeah. I think that's. I think this is the correct thing to do. Yeah, Bingham is just. He's crushing he's right like now. Crushing Yudi, yeah. 
He's a, they, I mean, 700 rated. He's, he's dropping, is he dropping the reclaim in the middle? Is there reclaim that in the middle? Oh, the, the rocks. No, he's, he's going yeah, probably for Probably for the maxes, yeah. Yeah. The AI is always so greedy with trying to like, send engineers to the other side of the map for maxes. Yeah. And look at this. Uh, Bingham Double is nano. just raiding you these engines again. Crushed. Absolutely crushed. Yeah. I feel like it's on engineer priority as well, because it's trying to get the NGs. The tanks weren't shooting anything else. So, Flowey, Waffles, and Zlow are all at the bottom. They've got two gun nano comms and a stock comm. Even Flowey has come all the way down, so we're going to have a 3v3 at the bottom. Okay. Um. I wonder mm. what the second game might have ended like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see what's happening here. So there was probably some... They had to replay it, right? Would, like, do you think it was a... Maybe it was exactly the same constellation. Hex engine. tuple combo. Yeah. <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> yeah. Flory just made a PD in his... Max expansion. Small grabs a gun upgrade. <laughs> I feel like the game is just going to be straight up decided in this com fight. But uh, Flowey <laughs> Big and com engagement. Yeah, Small code Flowey just tries to drop an NG be... and. <laughs> I feel like yeah. Flowey and Yudi aren't, aren't even going to get a chance to, like, influence it. It's going to be over before. Like, Arch is going to get killed here, I think, if he's not careful. They have to block the comms. Yeah. Zlo got a slight miss micro and, was a, and got blocked, so he's now out of range. Oh, another factory block and a unit block. Saves Arch. Oh, I think Arch you're, at, a bit, you're a bit ahead at, of me. Oh, okay. My bad. Let me pause. I'm running at plus zero. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Arch and 200 HP gets oh, out. Oh my goodness. That was so close. That was like literally one shot. The UD has got double gun Arch now, goes back so in. Might... Why? Oh, he's trying to get die. his vet. He's trying to get his vet. Oh, and I think he's getting it. Die. No. Ah, uh, but so, like, the southern team just seems to be unstoppable right now. It's just way more units, and it's two comms at way more HP. I'm surprised that Yudi is like walking in so close. Like he's got the double gun, but he's like in range of the of, of two comms all the time. Yeah. Slow needs nano. Yeah, he's just he's just gonna start nano. That's really sensible. Yeah. It's a shame for Ark that he didn't get his vet. It was like one tank yeah. away from it. He's so close. But I think uh, Protect is actually dead here. 1k HP. Oh. It'll blow up all of his own units as well. Yeah. Oh, I see. I think he's out of he's vision so range. Yudi has got gunships, so Waffles is gonna die. Yeah. Question is if he might take Yudi with him. It's, it's yeah, guaranteed. Yudi is dead. Yeah. But Protect needs to get out of range. Bully oh is trying. God. Is uh, if. Oh, you know if Protect had also popped, <laughs> Ark would have may have also popped. Yeah, they could have been a very gone big down there. chain reaction. Yeah. Well, they're going for slow with the gunships, but he's got nano. He's a chonky boy. Yeah, like, and a there's a flag. There's also a flag nearby. Arch finally gets his uh, his vet, which is nice. And uh, oh my goodness! Look on the uh, look on the left side. Look at the uh, Flowey's base. 
There's a lot of units from the yeah. AI in there. The Bingham is wrecking right now. Big air fight over flag, two flags, three flags. Swifties yeah, don't stand a chance, yeah. Poor Swifties. And we've got the face down of the gun nano UF chunkers. And his lowest just at a slight HP and vet veterancy advantage. And Ark just gets away because of some of his PD. There's so many Lobos in that mix though, the PD are just getting crushed instantly. Yeah. Yeah, Bingham is starting to pose a serious threat to... Yeah. He, he's gonna be space. taking some T2 mixes soon. The Hydro is about to go down. Yeah, and there's a, some gunships on Ark now, but I don't think they will succeed. No, nah, it's not enough. They barely out DPS this region. <laughs> I love the big wall of protect. <laughs> Protecting the four T1 mixes by funneling the units into the T2 mixes. Yes. That's, uh, that's the big brain plan. While uh, Bingham is doing a Chad raid here, but uh, T2 PD is going to hold that. <laughs> This game's turned down so differently to the last one, like, the yeah. players have been so busy savaging each other that the AIs are actually controlling, like, 60% of the map. Protect is a bit unsure of what to do with this ACU, it's just walking like back and forth from his own base to uh, arch space but this does not look good for team arch arch is in danger in my game yeah arch is 13 minutes. probably dead oh Oof. and slow gets slow his fourth vet yeah he got he got a vet um and i think protect is just dead it's kind of amazing. Yeah, it seems like it. Slow effectively wouldn't be three tier. <laughs> Streaming pillars across the map. And that's it. That's a quick game. 13 minutes. Lowy lost his, his HQ. Was that to the uh, to air? I did not watch. He did lose it. He did have a T3 HQ and he did lose it, but I didn't see what, what killed it. Land HQ. No, it was an, it was an air HQ. Oh no, he still got his oh, air HQ. Yeah. He's low does. But the AI basically savaged his entire base. Yeah. AI has G3 mix. Well, that means it wins, right? First yes. person to a G3 mix. They have the most DPS, so. It can only be surpassed by first person to have a rest boy. Hmm. The follow up game has been going for 56 minutes. I'm not sure if we want to opt that. <laughs> 56 minutes? Yeah. How many, I guess the question, my, my first question is, how many boys does UD make? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I don't I don't think we'll watch that. It's just, you know, we're going to watch it for 40 minutes and then the replay is going to crash, the live replay. It might suffer. Or they might be trying to hold on for humanity versus the might of the AI crushers. There are no other active uh, lobbies. Oh, actually, there's, mm, there's a third. Yeah, that will uh, that will kind of give away what's happened in the other games. But uh, there is a best. There is a decider match about to be played. Yeah, I think we're just gonna watch that. Which team is that even? That is Battlefront and Control K. Who is? Uh... Group formed. That is Denji the Chainsaw. Possibly versus Balance Slave. Group. I think I'm going to take a short break because this lobby will take quite some time. I'm going to make some tea. Fair enough. To wake up. So I'll see you soon. I need to go and do some uh, real life stuff. If there's someone wants to take over the co-casting from the chat, they are welcome to join. I will... Uh, I am rooting for Grimplex's team because... The poor man's depressed. Yeah. I was kind of hoping to get Grimplex to also co-cast with me, but it seems like he's a bit he's occupied. Playing, so can't, yeah. yeah. Maybe after this game he can. <laughs> if he gets so depressed, he quits him. <laughs> he quits the tournament. <laughs> That's the real power play. Leave the tournament so you can just cast and look at yeah. other people. Yeah. Okay, but then... We might not talk again for now. Yeah, wait for this lobby to... Uh... Yeah, okay. I might I'll be back in like in the game. three, four minutes, yeah.
Group form. Group form. So I have returned. I see Derp is kind of muted. I'm wondering, well, we we're missing one last player. Oh, SP. SP is taking a break. Oh, he's a bit late. It's a shame. So we've got two Dilly Dally AIs on the South Island. Maybe if you know how to have this map plays in normal team games, it's quite a big fight for the Northern Island. You know, you start your proxy here in the South as well. I think it's quite nice to have the AI down here, so you don't. Because <laughs> this, this gameplay, personally, I don't enjoy it that much. Maybe you can even steal some reclaim of the AIs. So, if anyone wants to join me co-casting, since Derp is gonna drop out for this game, I presume. Or maybe there is one more. But we have a spot open. Oh, 20 minute lobby sim.
Goodman SP. What is it? What's the tournament chat called? Should be the form thread, right? Let's have a look. Forum, forum. And there's knockback in the lobby. It's just asking Eolus, someone will respond. Ah, oh, it's rainbow. Nice. I wish I could do some, <laughs> it's quite quite sad to be talking into a wall with the three minute delay, you cannot really interact with the chat. I guess we can actually, it's, uh, someone suggested that, I think we can just, you know, we have the power of launching replay while lobby is open. Just have to fight for a thingy a bit. Um, there we go. Going to switch to the correct window and we just skip through this pretty quick because we already hinted it's a long game. Never mind, SP is back. Let's see if the how long it takes for the lobby to host. Good fear, Flowey, aka uh, One Punch Man, Bully, and Slow versus Protect. Arch and UD. The color layout is wrong. Because Bloodier was dark purple. Or was Bloodier wrong? I'm sorry, this is <laughs> this is part of the fun of the tournament to just <laughs> check if players pick the correct colors. And yeah, that's the wrong color. No one was supposed to be white on this map. Unless there's a different layout for different rotations, but I don't think so. Okay, let's maybe slow it down a bit. Looks like Arch got the center proxy and despite having... I guess you need, you need, you need quite some production because there's a com coming. You need some production to lock it down. Oh no, why? I guess Bully realized he, like this stuff would just get raided if it wasn't it wasn't dropped like right next to the ACU. And Yudi did what I thought he, one would do on this map, namely just walk your com up, plug the choke. Otherwise this happens. Because, you know, your AC you cannot cover the whole bit, so you just 
busy chasing back and forth. So I wonder if Bully... Yeah, Bully is definitely ahead in the T2 Max count. But I would prefer Arch's position here with the amount of Maxes. Should have more... 69 versus 87. No, actually Bully has more mass production. So it might not be quite worth it. How how did this get here? Has it killed anything yet? No. It's just tickling every engineer. And finally it gets reclaimed. Protect is on T2 Air. I wonder if we get Janus abuse. Because I don't think that should be the slot to go T3 Air. Yeah. Nicely walled off. Is that not... Ah, uh, then we might be able to squeeze a couple of Mantis through, but... That's what you got your PD for. AI always does gun here. Oh. And we have to leave this replay. Because apparently... The other game launched. And it automatically switched. How amazing is this? I love I love OBS sometimes. Derp is Ah oh, no, he dropped out, so I'm I have lost my co caster completely. So, on the bottom left, we have... I mean, this team is called Team SP, I think. They don't have a proper team name. Denji, this chainsaw, chainsaw team, yeah. Switched back to SP. Uh, versus... Um, I think it's also just Team UD. No, it substitutes. Got quite the hectic, quite the hectic, uh, you know, <laughs> mouse. You see, you see the the reclaim orders. I'd hate to walk back, but it's not that far to walk back with the AC to make the hydro. So SP Control K and Battlefront versus. Grimplex in the back slot, Foden in the southern front slot, and Wreck in the northern slot. Wreck did not bother to go back for his Hydro, it just goes straight for the expansion. I wonder if he picks up some mixes on the way. In Contra case, sending some laps out. Ah, why would you build an Aurora this early? So I wonder if there's some cheeky reclaim stealing going on here. The AI did an absolutely uber brain move and <laughs> sent a tank here. Why did it not... Oh my god. No. That's toxic. That can cause so much trouble. Is it also? It's also, they are doing basically the same thing. It's great when you see, you know, deterministic AI. And Battlefront is, is grabbing that reclaim, which is a very, very good idea. Just depends on if this tank will randomly pick off the NG. That would be quite a shame. 
And we'll have Battlefront and Foden meeting in middle. Anytime soon. This, yeah, I realized this is a calm. There's a very, very cheeky trick. Okay, it was scouted anyway, but if you select an engineer... No, it's not in range anymore, but... You cannot, you cannot capture comms with engineers. So you can can't capture engines, but you can capture comms. And this is how you can distinguish. This is the greatest faff trick. This is the last faff trick I learned. Yeah, and Battlefront is taking a slightly more damage, because Foden has more units in support. But he just does not care, he's gonna use a reclaim to fund a T2 Max, I suppose. So nice tree reclaim going on, that's always great to see. I'm a bit confused by Rex. Oh, he went for the reclaim, okay. Okay, that's quite a bit of reclaim. Yeah, SP is a bit late to the party. But Foden finds himself in quite an uncomfortable position. Ran into two ACUs. Takes horrible damage here. I guess fortunately for him they are only focusing the ACUs so the, the tanks kind of add... No, they are nearly adding as much DPS as a second ACU. But the drop by SP, it's gonna be quite neat in the long run because it just secures the whole top pond and actually this bomber is quite critical to deny actually yeah not that much because <laughs> wreck is Aeon I was just thinking of the you know random Zui spam threatening all and everything that's that you hold dear on your part of the map <laughs> That's quite an array of NGs <laughs> trying to steal Maxes. I wonder how many random Maxes will get captured by AI. There we got the first one. Hate to see it. AI building, like reclaiming and building a base in a uh, Max in your main base. Some bombers being chased down. Rack is on his third T2 Max. Battlefront. No, uh, SP's mirror is not. SP controls a lot over there, but he did not. You yeah, know, it's not all over for Rack because Auroras exist. And there's no frigate out yet. This is actually quite a miss. Oh, th I don't. I do not like this. I don't think a gun gun comm should be assisting. Yeah, he's moving. A gun comm should not be assisting. When it could fight. But Rex comm seems to be a bit out of position. Considering there will be a very big clash in middle now. Foden seems to be a uh, Foden's mass. I got a big dump of mass. They really need this gun to finish. Because then for a short while they can hold. But Wreck is just idle. Case. Okay, just reclaiming. Okay, making the gun. Oh, there was an attempt of getting nano. That would have been a, probably a quite good to have, but maybe not affordable. Control K needs to be careful now because he's quite extended, and it's two gun comms versus one vanilla com, and his gun com. Does he actually die here? I think he'll just just about make it to the water. There's a shield as well. But that ACU will be out of commission for quite a while, considering it has not a single vet. 
And Battlefront went for the T2 upgrade, which in hindsight is quite a mistake, because he has to cancel. There's no way he can finish it with two gun comms walking in. So this turned out to be quite... To quite some <laughs> bad turn for the southern team, despite having three ACUs in middle. What the hell happened here? Seems to have gotten killed, and immediately the AI gives a <laughs> gives a build command on it, and that's just immediately the shield down and. Contra K has to go back into the water. There's a gunship on him. I wonder if there's also a Torp Bomber coming. He did get his vet though. That's quite neat. Some extra region. There's a flag out for the southern team, but I think it's already gotten overcharged. No, it's still here. It's gonna get overcharged any second. Flag is dead, but he walks out of the water <laughs> and there's just the gunship already there. Where's his buddy? Where is... There's his buddy. There's Foden. Got the GB boys pushing hard. It's quite some hover spam things going on. SP is wasting a shit ton of mass into Zui's, which don't even make it off the pond. Most of his, uh, most of the maxes are missing, so there's not really much chief here. One OC takes out two shields, like takes down two shields, and then Odin just kills the other one. The AI has switched to T2, but look at this: people with actual brains are playing this game, warning off the immediate paths to entry. So, Rek loses his naval presence. Uh, I am still a very confused being why this, like what this gun com is doing here right now. Because it doesn't seem to be achieving anything. <laughs> he has got 200 mass killed. And it seems like someone lost connection to someone for me. It's Spell and Slave, aka Grimplex. So I guess we can just take the small break and try to analyze where the game is at in terms of eco and tech scaling. Vrak has really good base eco, actually. That's a very well-developed base. 46 versus 72. So Vrak has kind of set himself up to carry this game in the later stages. Oh, I hope the zoomer comes back and didn't have an unhandled skill issue. Oh, no, it was major skill issue, that was the error. Oh, he has a major skill issue. Uh, I'm not sure how this is handled here. It's actually quite a shame. I wonder if they get to replay. Because to me it seemed like North team was in a fairly decent position, if except Odin being pretty crippled. Did they spawn in different positions? I think they actually did.
So now we have to figure out the rules. So I guess big discussions are going on with the <laughs> tournament directors right now. I feel like we should kick him and just pause because otherwise the game will desync and then there's only, only a replay as an option then. What is this? This is an... It was not a Mercy, right? It was a Scout or something. Such a tough call, because I think... No, I would actually re. I think I would re. Okay, knock set, continue. Like if I if I had the choice as this team, I would re. It's just being one one player down, it's just being the strongest, and also in a position where. You know, two gun comms just threaten everything. Also, I just realized this is the deciding game. So it's even worse. Where's SP's com? Why the hell is it in the middle of nowhere? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no way. Apparently, oh, oh, no, there's some. Okay, now. Apparently the original time limit for re was minute 9.30. Uh, that's what Fico intended initially. But apparently it's FAF policy to have it at less than five minutes.
Okay, we're actually gonna get a re. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Um, okay, this, I mean, there are rules, but apparently they are not conclusive. Okay. Okay, if you go those four, yeah, we get the rehost. And you really need to turn off the client notification sound. And it just crushes my ears. Group form. Group form. Apparently it's not possible. Group form. One would assume that all the colors would already be correct and so on. Yeah, the spawn, like decision where to spawn is quite interesting here. Like you have the choice between, you know, two ACUs further up or um, possibly faster expansion. But I'm not sure if this actually gives you faster expansion than this. Because the path for the back seems very similar.
And there's no random going on here. Who's Sarah? Oh, but SP, for instance, switched to... No, switched back to Sarah. I wonder if Rack is gonna adapt his opening. If he's also gonna drop the top left corner. Actually, it's quite interesting to see the same the same teams open on the same map multiple times. If they adapt and how they adapt. Um, I think the spawns there actually, yeah, they did not do any rotations. Hey, Rack is doing the same thing. And plans to, I think, grabbing those with the com is a bit of a waste. Because you can just send an engine and Aurora on it. Unless you get bombs, pretty much guarantees grabbing that. Oh, he is going for a couple of extra pigeons beforehand. I guess that allows us to grab five maxes. Oh. oh, Spikey is back. Spikey can join me if he wants to. Got the Hydra rushes. This time SP is leaving immediately. But it's surprisingly also going over here. I'm a bit surprised that the heavy ACU fighting is going on here. I mean, it's like the shortest connection between the two bases, but this is not the, like, this is definitely the reclaim heavy part. I'm not sure if you, oh, the ACU might be able to get that, actually. The strat, it's a strat wreck, right? Yeah, it looks like an ambassador. Dodge. No. Oh my god, this this little cunt. No. Already delayed the AC this by for five seconds. Guess they thought it was a lab or something. I mean, that that scout was actually really good. Because that told... Um, 
that told Foden and there will be three comms here and Foden just did not even bother contesting the reclaim or anything. And just given the amount of reclaim on the map, this is not that much mass. And now there's just three ACUs idle in middle. And they have learned. Oh, I think they were allowed to pick the faction of one of the AIs. Each team, so they just... Of course, you pick either Aeon or... Um, Sarah to be as annoying to your team as possible, to your opponent team as possible. This transport is actually quite neat. There's no way he's able to spend that, is there? <laughs> 100 mass per second income. Guess his team will be able to. Yeah, they can use it. Look at this. And the question is now will this be. Will they be able to cancel? Let's see if it's range or speed first. It was range. That's actually, in this case, speed may have been better. I really, I really, really dislike this ACU move. This is so bad. Like, you have an NG here already. Why? Surprised that no one dropped that yet. Rex Con Rex is behind. <laughs> this tournament will not finish, so we will get to see a third opening. Oh, we get a connection back. It's just for the love of like, they just I think of Grimplex I guess it's quite APM intense, but on this map you should be able to do it if you picked like if you just pick Aeon for instance. He could have picked Aeon. Or here we got Aeon. Like why do you just give up on all of those mechs? There's very little reason to do so. And I think you should be able to at least initially micro Auroras. There's so much of it's hard to count maxes when they are when there's a big screen in your face two and this is four I think one no it's actually six eight maxes give them away basically for free
Hang on, did we reconnect at the last second? And it was the eject, right? No, he back. This was this was clutch. Yeah, Foden just about missed his window here. I thought this was building a PD. That would have been so toxic. Imagine the AI just, you know, building PD and cliff building PD in random places. This is so... Oh my god. If we had a re I think we would have PM'd Wreck to not do this. Can, hmm, I wonder if the ACU can shoot here. It's actually quite interesting. I hear more shooting going on. Grimplex has arrived. I started to chew on some things. Oh, that PD will actually finish. That was that drop was scouted a bit too late. Especially, it's just equally distributing all of the damage. And the. Uh, but actually took quite a bit of it. Fortunately Foden is too low to participate in the fight. But I think Grimplex could still, you know, this is still... Grimplex could focus down, control K. And just knock one ACU out of the fight for... I will get a vet though. Where's the OC, my friend? There's the OC. Oh, he was on snipe mode. No. Pretty sure he could have had his first vet of that stuff. And he needs to protect. He needs to protect Foden now. Protect your friend. Oh, he got the he got the nano. Now it's big push time again. And they're just bonking into each other. No, why is he going into the wall? Needs to block shots. Oh, I'm pretty sure. No way. They all died. We've got three comms down. I'm pretty sure Grimplex could have lived if he had. Because Foden was. I think both could have lived if Grimplex like, at least blocked some shots. Oh, that's quite a shame. So now it's protect. Uh, it's wreck versus battlefront and SB. It seems like wreck has like generated just a better. They're just in a better position again. The northern team, but they, yeah. They lost two comms. To something they shouldn't have lost two comms to. Oh no, it was. They lost. Okay, they, at least they traded against SP. I was mistaken there. Is this. Is this Max. What is happening to this Max constantly? That won't make it far. Again, AI is allowed to have all of those Maxes. Hmm. Let's see if there's a proper reaction to this raid. So far I cannot see one. Yeah, it's pinged. It's been pinged. There's the bomber. 
So this will not achieve a lot. Actually, this 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 max. That's I think reasonable to pick off. Ah, uh, there must be so many pings and. Get wrecked, Aurora. The Contra K is just <laughs> having the turtle, <laughs> the very slow turtle shields trying to follow his calm everywhere. This is so weird that they are sending the ACUs back. They have two ACUs on double gun with, you know, usable HP. Against one ACU that is not being used for, I'd say, good reason even. So we'll see how well Protect performs, uh, Rec form performs here. Did it get killed by Zui? So it's just... No, it seems to have just gotten overrun by Yenzines. Okay, Wreck is not, is not having it anymore with this expansion. That should be a mm, good terrain communication. Oh, the engines, man. Not the engineer. Oh, I was building a TMD. Does the AI actually build TMLs? Oh no, there's so many bombers <laughs> and not a single flag. T3 land out for, uh, what's his name, Control K again. Is there a 70% T3 land for wreck? Ah, uh, this AC is just getting free vet right now. Like those harps are already getting quite good value. An attempt was made, but the army was just too big. T3 mobile AA. Protect is going for T3 air. I'm not sure if this is a mistake or not. Okay, that's. Yeah, I mean, it's getting mirrored, so it's not a wasted investment. A wasted investment would be getting the, the head start on T3 air and then not being able to, <laughs> to micro the strat. Harp's actually quite tall in comparison. Just shooting over the factory. Look at this, the leg. They have done so much damage so far. And the Uchis are also just kind of vibing against the blazes here.
<laughs> one max has been at least denied. Do you have enough power? 3.6k uh, should be enough for spamming K3 until the K3 pigeon is up. It's quite some juicy reclaim here. But same for the other team, and there's all. Oh no, that's, that's a pro uh, Rex. And she's. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. It's PD. And the harp is being focused down. And there's no way it's enough APM to micro in this kind of engagement. AI has killed the T1 Max. Let's just quickly check the reclaim. Like this, the southern team is slowly catching up. And oh no, pause this, please. Thank you, and also pause these, and it will not stall anymore. So with 20k versus. Yeah, this is not good. 20 versus 30k. And Protect was also the one that got, you know, most of the reclaim, initial reclaim from the northern team. So he's not really getting very good reclaim here. He's trying, definitely trying. such a shame like the two gun comps they could have done so incredibly well at the front and when you're 2v1 two two I think you can and should still risk your ACUs like this because you know this is happening you kind of won the north thing, north thing and then didn't have the APM to send like 4 or 5 more blazes to clean it up and claim it Oh, I am not convinced by this. I do not like this. At least... No, no, no. I still pumping blazes. I guess some blazes are sensible for... the island we talked about, but... Just inefficient and is this, this is a harp, right? I am too blind to see. Yes, we have the harp drop. And it's going all the way into the back. Potentially threatening. I guess it no, it shouldn't. If if they if it gets pinged quick enough. Oh, the MVP AI saves the day. And it seems like momentum gets immediately cancelled by the water. Just at the edge of the map. MVP AI. Okay, this is quite a dangerous push now in the north. I think this will overrun the firebase. This should not be possible to stop. Honestly, an Aeon gun come with a T3 pigeon and multiple... Uh, what was it called? Power storage as another shield with the units? Maybe, yeah. Definitely with Crow. What is this bullshit? <laughs> this deserves to die immediately. Actually, do they have anything left to stop it? Because the, the armies were split and... So... Rek lost only very few units. He just needs intel right now. Because I don't think this can be stopped, really. 
Like maybe with good ACU gameplay and snipers and so on. Does Contra K have enough? Oh, Contra K has enough OC. The question does he need to move in or not? It's always a bit hard to tell here. Because I don't think this army will be able to kill a lot more than this base. Where's the heavy? I think feel like the heavy part of the reclaim is over here actually. Fortunately there's enough flak to cover this. Yeah, the snipers are just have nothing else to do than dumbly chased after this. I think the blazes should just move south together with the flak. And Control K is in a bit of a problematic position here. Lost, losing all of his shields. You know, random shields over the harps, so they take more. Oh, there's only one flag left now. See, doubling down with an experimental. I feel like wreck. Could definitely, yeah, this is an unfortunate rally point. Oh, what an overcharge. It's actually not gonna deal any damage. <laughs> this flag has to work absolute overtime. Mm, I guess not the worst attack, but I feel like it could have done more damage. Oh no, don't lose it. Saved. Yeah, as it turns out, air yeah, destroyers are absolutely useless over here. Because everything is just covered by... You know, it's just covered by... Uh, cliffs. But the Percy's have an absolute field day here. It's just... They one-shot Yanzines with the very little overkill. Hmm. Actually has more air, I think. Two hundred and seventy mass per second versus uh, two sixty, so he's not really ahead. Need to do something about those snipers. This was, you know, a very convenient front line. Those hills would be amazing to hide artillery behind, or maybe even on top. Imagine just dropping <laughs> shit ton of lobos on each of the plateau.
I think that's the next big push being assembled. Yeah, <laughs> the issue has been found. Oh my god, there's so much reclaim here. He just needs. Yeah, there's the reclaim order. I wanted to check reclaim. 46k, 17. 54. I guess quite a bit of us <laughs> it was this base, but you don't like to see this. So I wonder what the air game is going. 35 22. Absolute air dominance for for Wreck here. Also has a way bigger air grid, so he need, really needs to make use of this. Just so much mass being donated by the AI over here. It just does not stop. Can't stop, won't stop spamming enzymes. On, bait it out and bump bonk it. Oh, he sniped an AI. Interesting decision. Yeah, this is getting quite into a weird state. I feel like Southern team is doing a better job at ecoing. They're slowly overtaking Wreck. But I feel like Wreck has a way bigger standing army. 20s, 8 harps, 5 Percy's. 30 harps. Oh, actually, no, no it doesn't. 30 harps, 8. Snipers. Oh, but the snipers, they are quite in trouble right now. They are in range of the destroyers, which focus NGs instead. And miss every shot. That's a shame. No way. Oh no, the little hit squad of harps. Just suiciding in, taking out all the snipers. Absolutely brutal. I feel like the ready points are really bad, because where do these clumps of Percy's come from? Ah, oh, this is a premature attack. Battlefront is investing quite a bit into the... Questions. Is this an efficient attack? I don't think so. He's gonna get a nice concave. Yeah, better retreat here. Finally, this has been cleaned up. There's so much reclaim here still. Is this there any? There's a GC. Let's go. And there's a 50% GC. Which. 
you know, the new GC, the, I guess not so new anymore GC. It's an absolute beast. You cannot contest with T3 land, except snipers maybe. And southern team is catching up in air, I guess Wreck has been stalling too much. Ah, and it seems like another mass donation. This looks quite bad, to be honest. I mean, it's quite nice to force the fight up here, because that's where the Destros can add a bit of damage, and if you look at them, they actually... They have paid for themselves over time. But, yeah, it's just some T3 art, he would have been quite fun. Actually, it has quite bad formation over here. This army might break through, but where's the... Where's the GC? There it is. Yeah, I think this is just gonna be another mass donation, unfortunately, because the GC will... arrive in time and there might not even be a single T3 max lost. I think this is the game losing move here. They did not really scout the GC. And Control K has caught up with Rex. And there's Strat Bombers, I didn't even realize there were some being built. Hmm. He lost half of them. Oh, they just auto aggroed. That's why they were going in. And there's a very big reclaim field next to 5T1 factories, so I guess the second GC will be done in no time. And Wreck must be mad. Yeah, Wreck is just. Struggling for mass. They're getting some shots off. Killing the odd harp. Is the PD ACU? finish it depends if the GC ignores it I guess then it will just run down everything else and he needs to just constantly strat bomb this this piece here come on where's the strats Oh, he, he sent this GC on the run. So the, you know, you can see the claws don't really work backwards. But the problem is I think the GC is about as fast as the harps. So it will probably get away. I mean, this is some nice reclaim now. But I think the GC will, will live here. And there's the, no, oh, there's the reinforcement and two GCs will just absolutely eat up an army like this. Where's all the strats? Did they all die? Three strats. They all died apparently. Okay, one GC is dead. How 
far. Yeah, it's just the GC factory running. It's just all of this reclaim enabled this. I'm not sure if this is gonna achieve so much because they will just hit the shield on the way back will they? don't let it Wow, is this allowed? No. No, he's gonna lose another pigeon. Oh no, the AI. The AI is breaking through. Just absolutely overbuilding cruises here. Like this is one third of a GC. Which didn't achieve anything. So is he able to stop this? I'm not sure. Because it always feels like you know, if you build snipers, he would be able to stop this. But it always feels like harps are just... You know, they're just extra veterancy for GCs. And the shields are... He's gonna bomb his own harps. There he gets the vet and it will actually live, I think. Absolutely brutalized. Imagine if it was snipers. Yeah, and this looks like GG, three GCs. Strolling in. And he lost air as well over... Oh, I think those flags actually contributed quite a bit. And that's it. So... This means... Team Grimplex has to go to the loser's bracket. Clown, his farm's already playing. They're already in game, have been for ten minutes.
Actually, I think we're gonna watch the live replay on that. Just try to catch up. Should be doable. And then... Okay, very interesting. Does it not want to launch the live replay? Like, oh, it's just broken. <laughs> Let's see if it helps if I restart the client. Ouch. Yeah, okay, that's just a broken game. Then I guess we'll have to watch. Oh no, this is a loser's bracket game. And it broke again, so I guess we cannot watch live replays at all. Um, yeah, I guess yeah, we will just watch Tagada versus SP then. There's oh, thanks for the thousand bits. Uh, also, if I missed, you know, donations, subscriptions anything i'm very sorry <laughs> that uh stream alerts do not work for me so again if you feel like donating it will i think exclusively go into tournament funding um which is where we can actually spend money all the time Oh, you want to join Femto? Want to start a German stream? Let's go. Uh, what was I rambling about? I was rambling about something. Oh, yeah, the bits and donations. So I'm not sure if this tournament is co funded by Faf. I might be lying. Quite often, is it's if it's uh, if it's you know competitive ish, will often dump some of its additional prize funds into it. So yeah, this is what you will get all worth of your money. Hello, is this a wild Indrani? It is. Welcome. Yeah. Finally done with everything I had to do, so I won't be disappearing for every ten minutes. So yeah, I can actually help you out. Nice. Because apparently you didn't find anyone else. No, everyone, everyone ran off. It's either playing or too sleepy or. Them tournaments stealing all of our casters away. Yeah. 
We need some castles. Although I guess that that's what happens when you act. Yeah. <laughs> the trouble of hosting a high rated tournament. Yeah. It steals all of the people away. But yes, so what are we gonna do now? Um we are kind of waiting for Tagada versus uh SB. Because unfortunately life replays seem to be broken at the moment, like straight up broken. Oh yeah, that's sad. Yeah. And but, yeah, but the Tagada versus SP should actually be quite nice, even more so as SP will get a chance to go and get his revenge after the lots tournament. Oh that's true, yeah. This is like a like a faff derby now. Exactly. It's the time for SP to show his growth as a player and just show Tagada that he's no more. <laughs> yeah, so what I was thinking, maybe there's an actually like a very good replay. Maybe someone can recommend one. Wasn't there a Tagada replay actually floating up in the chat before or not? Or do I remember wrong? Uh, maybe there was. Let's see. Like, I remember chat speaking about some Tagada replay, but... Tagada was talking about something. Watch it. Unfortunately, my chat history doesn't go yeah. that way back, so I don't see it. Maybe someone in chat can help us out, or maybe mm, someone yeah. was watching the live replays and can give us a tip on what to watch. Mine is actually going that far back, but he says, <laughs> just said watch it. Maybe it was the one that I started before the recent game launched. Let me check. I guess we can just go through them. They don't seem crazy long. So I'm just going to oh start Oh my, it seems like the there start. is actually some problem with the team tournament. Because one of the players apparently just left. Okay. Yeah. Ofiko just PM'd me that uh, this was in fact all of his money, so Faf was not involved in this. And uh, we can. Like, this is a very generous. <laughs> No, oh, no, no, no. Solution. When it comes to Rainbow Tournaments, Fergal is an absolute beast of a man. He's just bankrolling yeah. all of it every year. So, really, Fergal, big, big thank you for doing it. You're really helping out the community. So, once again, a big shout out to you. Yeah, and also, he just sent a Twitch handle. You can check him out on Twitch. So, I don't know, do we just watch the first one or which one? Yeah, yeah, we just watched the first one on Tournament so Decision. So, it's gonna be Adaptive Tournament Decision, okay. Yeah, I will just wait at the start. Yeah, I'm trying to open the replay, but... Okay, it's working. It was just client downloading some stuff. So, uh, where are you paused? 10 seconds uh, in or what? Uh, se one second in. <laughs> Immediately. I can, I can pause it 10 seconds. And I'll pause it 10 seconds. OK. 
Okay. Tell me when you're ready. I guess I can introduce the teams already, so we've got... Okay, uh, let's go on 3 to one okay? 3, three. Two, 1 Okay. And now do the introductions. Introduction. We've got Rezi in the south. Then we've got Macron. It's called Macronoop, but everyone just calls him Macron. And Anno, who's, I think, just in the last year gotten like really good and versatile. Yeah, that's true. Mostly Seaton's before that, if I remember correctly, yeah. Yeah, but in the last few months he was really showing some good skills in the RMG map, so yeah. It's a good yeah. choice for a player here. And then for the northern team in red we have Nock, the one who basically babysits this whole tournament. Uh, gingerbread man, there has been a lot on FAF for a very long time. One of the old active. timers. Yeah, at least like, you know, just a wall of activity over the last years. And then big man Tagada, of course, team lead. And last year's LOTS champion. I mean, you could even say the current year, because it oh, was yeah. like three months ago or something. Yeah. Oh, and I just saw they hosted the lobby, so I was just PM him to... Oh, can you PM him to wait? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna go to plus one. We've got some... I think each team has one player going second air. Yeah, there's quite some symmetry going on. And we've got the first ACUs leaving. And Noah's going north. I'm not sure if you watched the previous it, games no. on this map. No. Like I said, I was basically on and off, so I only came in to the, see the chart, make some gamble, and that's it. Ah, okay. So, oh, yeah, so you were responsible for the whole support. <laughs> nice. Um, no, what we saw, f which I already forgot, uh, it was Arch versus Slow, effectively. And they just had, like, a big 3 versus 3 ACU clash in the south. I mean, that sounds like quite a fun thing to do, because if you actually look up north, there's going to be a lot of AI units, so yeah. you might actually want to focus on the players instead of that of the chaff from AI, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, Not I to mention, was... nothing like some good uh, Rambo action. Yeah, like good team coordination, that's so so important there. Uh, well, first I was thinking it's a bit risky to not, you know, send you a heavy ACU north. But it turns out you just need to, you know, get that reclaim field. You know, reinforce your north flank with until you have to reclaim and then... Map control doesn't really matter because you lose like one max in a hydro. Yeah, and a few walls can really help you out with dealing with the AI spam. Yeah. So in the south, not that much happening. Just grabbing some reclaim. Uh, Unknown has a very idle ACU. I don't really like having ACU, you know, in the middle of nowhere. Tagada is doing it way better. It seems like him and Gingerbread are preparing for a double compost through middle. Tagada already racing ahead, picking up, up some tanks with the vanilla comb. Yeah, so a small misplay by Unknown, but you can see that he's actually going for the gun upgrade. Or is it only on my screen? Oh, you might be... where are you? Might be a couple I'm seconds. I'm minute left. 5 and 10 seconds. Oh, you're minute 5 and 10 seconds. Okay, I'm... 
I sped ahead actually. I'm 540. Oh. I'm like on plus zero right now, yeah. Okay, I'm also 540, and yeah, we can see that Tagada okay. actually claimed a single max in the middle. Yeah. So a small victory for him. <laughs> and Ginger went for the epic, you know, storage and the adjacent pigeon, so he gets a grand total of two extra E. You love the cheeky AI trying to go and steal Maxis with a single engineer. <laughs> oh man, that engine just found itself between all fronts. Gets pounded by Zui's from left and right. I mean, he had a dream about being a big thief, and yet it didn't happen. Yeah. But yeah, we can see that Tagada is actually also grabbing the gun upgrade, and with Gingerbread already finished with it, it seems like Unknown might find himself in a quite a pickle here. Uh. Oh, sorry, I meant Macronub. Oh, yeah. As Unknown is on the other flank, but they are both blue and well. Yeah. And Rezi, if you look at south, Rezi missed a major chance here because he had the gun ahead of Nock, like quite ahead uh, but he just backed off and Nock was allowed to finish his gun and now Rezi is trying to get the get Chrono but it seems like Nock has a slightly bigger army and a stationary ACU is not Yeah, but there is actually no fun. artillery and with the gun upgrade on his ACU he can basically cool down the Auroras in no time yeah. Yeah, I guess if you just micro your army around your comm, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure your all units are not in range of the enemy A3 and you should be actually good to see. Yeah. Not to mention, if actually your team sends you so energy and you can finish the Kron on time, then it's gonna be a simple crash. But... Resi cancelled. This is quite... Yeah, I'm not sure him. if this was actually the play, but considering that his units were split, maybe he just was afraid. Yeah. Because we can see Nock AC was be basically between half of his army and enemy army, so... The Auroras yeah. belonging to Rezi would have to basically get in range of the ACU. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite... I mean, in theory, it should be possible to, you know, get the same amount of... Tr like, the same trade. When you have a stationary SU and your other other opponent doesn't, but it's quite hard to just micro your army correctly around your com. Especially when it's Aurora, which are known for being quite finicky to move. Yeah. So I wonder if how the death push is going in middle right now. I mean, it seems quite even for now, with AI actually coming in to join the party with some units on its own. Yeah. If you look at, like, Tagada's army is completely occupied in the north. Tagada doesn't have any units anywhere else. It's just fighting the... AI. But yeah, it seems like the bottom team is actually doing way better job of containing the enemy AI because we can see Unknown actually building some walls and making the AI pay for it, so... Yeah. Meanwhile, on the other hand, Tagada is actually forced to micro his units up and down as we can see that the AI is coming from two sides. Yeah. But Tagada has got, like, the nice reclaim factories up and so on. So it's getting quite... Nice value of it. And it doesn't really look like Macron will be able to stop the push in middle. Yeah, two ACUs is gonna be way too much for a single one to handle, even more so as I don't see any kind of T2PD or anything to support him. And with Resinup actually being preoccupied by no one cares on the south, it means that it's basically 2v1 for him. Yeah.
Even I'm more so as Unknown is just not coming into help. He's busy dealing with the AI on his own. Yeah, I think that's quite a... Quite a blunder. But on the other hand, having his... Like, plugging the gap on the north with just the com enables him to be super ahead on T3A. Yeah, if you look, he's halfway on his T3 P gen. Meanwhile, Targeta is just about to finish the HQ. Yeah, although the question is gonna be if they can actually go and make it happen. If Strat Bomber is gonna be enough to go and swing the yeah. game in their favor. Although Tagada and Junior Better are actually gonna go and move back from the middle, seeming like they just don't wanna go and risk using either one of their ACUs. I find it a bit weird that they didn't want to apply more pressure. I mean, I think they're most likely afraid of the T3 air timing, so... They might be suspecting that the enemy might be quite ahead, so they don't want to risk being sniped by a T3 gunship or a strat bomber. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, fear is <laughs> definitely the reason. I agree on that. If look at yeah, south. it seems like they're fully aware that they're behind on the airplay. When yeah. you actually go and look at one of the players' view for the top team, you can see that they scouted the T3 pigeon already being finished long ago, so... It's most likely just irking on the safe side of the play. Yeah. look at south, Rezi actually did manage to take take very good trades against Nock. It's just pushing Nock back, riding the reclaim wave into the base. There's not a lot of reinforcements coming for Nock, he only has a T2 HQ. No support factories. So I think Nock has to resort to PDs. So does he? He already have obsidians coming out from the left side. Oh, so there's he one might support be factory, yeah. Yep, and there is also a few coming from the HQ, so this might be just enough to make sure that Rezi cannot push in. Oh no, we've got a very sad PD. <laughs> Wait, wait, the where? PD. <laughs> I've painted on the on the left side. <laughs> it has a very nice wall to look at. Oh no, it's hitting something. Oh wait, is it me or is unknown actually coming quite close to being below fifty percent HP versus the AI? <laughs> Yeah, and he's also, been struggling. that's a lot of units clamping in that single wall section. <laughs> oh no! The clusterfuck. Imagine having some lobos nearby. Or even being anything else than Cybron, like Aeon. Aeon, the Oblivion cannon, would just be so beautiful here. Yeah. So it seems like Rezi's push is a bit doomed because Tagada decided to help on the south. He's got the T2PD in the north to keep the AI in check. Though one might not be enough in the long term. And Ginger is airlifting his ACU to the south front. So I see that's the game plan. Oh, maybe they're gonna do the play you were speaking about before. Yeah. Three ACUs down the south, kill the base on the south, and then move on. Yeah. Like, it's currently gonna be 3v1, because Nock is already pushing in, making sure that Rezi won't have easy time falling back. Yeah. And Nock is in range of Rezi. 
Well, I mean, that just... means that Rezi is in range of knock. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the it's trading HP with Rezi is not that much in favor for knock because he's. Uh, no, no, no. Knock actually have some T2 shields coming behind him, so he can always hide ACU later on behind it. Yeah. Although it seems like Tagal is already also coming in range in a few seconds. Yeah, this is this is quite that's a nice OC by Rezi, but this is quite clutch clutch moment right now. He needs just needs to get rid of as many obsidians as possible and then move his units in the way. No no, Rezi didn't try to move his units back. And the moment he explodes he's gonna kill his whole army. Oh no. Uh and there he goes. Oof, sir. That was a misplay, but on the other hand, a really brilliant team play from the top team. Airlifting, one ACU, moving one even before, and just pushing in with three ACUs versus single one. So, a really good communication coming out from the top team. Yeah, that was very strong play, I agree. This is what my dream team games should look like. Just people actually speaking to each other, making plans and executing them. Yeah. That's what Faf is all about. And Tiger just won air, so this is looking starting to look really good for the northern team. Yeah, that was a brutal air victory. Honestly, right now you can just go and build one or two gunships or a single strat bomber and you can just kill all of the T2 maxes around the map. As it seems like bottom team will basically have no response to that. Yeah. And unknown is a bit slow, like where's the Sam? There should have been one immediately built, he's still assisting the HQ. No, oh, he's building one a little bit to the north. Oh, I see. It's most likely that his engineers were basically out of place. Although, I think what they should be wondering about this is how are they gonna go and stop the free ACUs on the bottom side, because they're coming closer and closer, and a single sniper bot is not gonna be enough. Yeah, and the PD got denied. And unknown dropped out i guess they gave up yeah yep seems like it desynced. this looks like was it yeah this looked like the moment they just basically threw in the towel and said guys let's save our morale and go and win the next one yeah after all there is nothing worse than prolonging a defeat by another 10 minutes it just hurts your morale so hard it's not worth it But yeah, with this, Team Tagada actually wins the first game. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. We might be able to get the second replay, because the lobby has been up for a while, but they haven't started. Like, they haven't even filled. I'm a, okay, so you want me to go to the uh, game with Commando, or do you want me to ask Tagada? Uh, Tagada. Okay.
Okay, I have returned. Okay, then it's all good because it seems like Pepsi's team actually managed to go and find a substitute for Battlefront. And also the game have been just hosted. Nice. Group formed. Group formed. Group formed. Group formed. Group formed. Okay, it seems like we have all the people actually already in, so we just have to wait for the... No one cares to go and see if everything is set up properly. After all, this is Rainbow Tournament and the settings are really hard to get proper. Yeah, I wonder if he has his own team, you know, tight control over... Over Tagata's team. You know, one would expect them to lead with an uh, example. Oh, yeah, they have actually no one cares inside. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. It seems like SP is asking for a uh, rehost. Seems like there are still some talks happening behind our backs. As the lobby is in standstill, not sure if it's going to be a host or not. Yeah, first people are Xing up. Okay, I think the game is actually gonna start. Are you ready, Harzer, or not? Yes, we are ready. Yeah, let's do it. I was hoping for like an immediate game launch. Not here, not on the path. No. I rem I think there were quite some interesting games in the last Rainbow Cup on this map. Or, or rather weird games. 
some very oh yeah there were like that i remember like i think one year or maybe two years ago basically one team was crushing the other team and then the ai was like you know what we're gonna go and crush the guys who are actually currently winning they made the t3 artillery and just killed everyone <laughs> It was like, okay, the team on the right side is already closing in. They're going to win the game. Hey, wait, what is happening? Why is the AI pushing with experimentals to the right side team? What is happening? <laughs> and then five minutes later, the team with only one player alive was the victorious. <laughs> this is what you love to see in this tournament. So do you want to introduce the players? Uh, well then, on the right side of the map, we're gonna have Team Espiranto. On the bottom part of the map, it is gonna be Moikont coming in ASAP to go and help out Pepsi in actually filling out the team because Battlefront had to go and go AFK. No clue why, but he's gone. So Moikont comes in. Then, a little bit higher up, it is gonna be Espiranto, also known as Pepsi to the community. He is the man on a quest for revenge. He is here to go and deal with Tagada and show him who's the new boss. And then, as the last player, it is gonna be Control K, also known as Azot, playing on the edge slot, SUEF. And on the left side, we are gonna have our beautiful tournament director, Nog, who is here to make sure that the tournament is gonna go swiftly and without any trouble. Playing Aeon. Then, a little bit higher up, it is going to be no one else but Tagada, the current leader of FAV, the one and only victorious champion of the LOTS 2022, playing Seraphim in beautiful Burgundy Red. And then, as the last man but not least, it is going to be Gingerbread Man, playing Aeon in beautiful beige color. And that is it, so microphone off to you, Harzer. Microphone back to me. See, we have a very similar expansion by the AI. Love to see it. Just doing the same shit. No, no, one one is different. This guy was a bit late, I think. <sighs> Wasn't it in a re like in one of those games? Someone captured one of the titans and went a bit of a, on a rampage with it. Oh yeah, you can actually go and capture them, and in early T3 unique like Titan is just beautiful thing to go and see it's gonna kill the t1 units without any trouble at all and with the recharging shield it can also go and tank a lot of damage so and um, i think knock did the reasonable play here just immediately mid this is basically like seton's mid in terms of mass not quite as much but pretty close and Moy is a bit late. Second. Sorry. But hey, it actually seems like the team from the left side is going to be the first one to go and grab all of the reclaim here. With the ACU belonging to no one cares actually being the first one to arrive. Not to mention a cheeky drop of four engineers coming out from Gingerbread Man. That's actually quite cheeky. I'm not also, sure if it's the best the idea. Also, the madmen actually have a single flare here to go and kill the enemy engineer, so yeah. He's thinking ahead, not to mention a, a little bomber, the Sinvi, coming out from Tagada. 
Yeah, but I think this was a slight miscommunication. If someone drops the middle as sweaty as this, Nock didn't have to send his ACU. Yeah, but on the other hand, you can actually use your ACU to go and protect the engineers if anything happens. Yeah, but I mean, like, look what he's doing now. I think this is the reaction to the <laughs> to the miscommunication that his ACU isn't really needed. Yeah, seems like it. Even more so as there's gonna be a little T1PD popped up by Junior Breadman. Yeah. So it seems like the reclaim pile on the middle is gonna firmly belong in the hands of the left team. There's so much. I love the AI just dropping a random T1 tank in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Adding a bit to the reclaim. That Selene has been dodging so many PD shots, holy shit. I think it was in the other replays as well. The middle reclaim just gets ignored like crazy. There's so much more reclaim in those destroyer wrecks than it is in actual middle, I think. Yes, that is true, but I think players are afraid of committing to the bottom because of how many AI units are there. Mm, yeah, like, I guess you wouldn't establish a presence, but I think sending an ACU down there is quite reasonable in the opening. I mean, maybe, but on the other hand, if you send your ACU there to the bottom, it means you will have to go and concede control of six maxes and also a lot of mass here in the middle, so it's yeah. a really... basically an exchange. Because you will get reclaim, but you're not gonna get the maxes. I'm just amazed that the air, <laughs> air spam the AI is doing. Oh yeah, it's something that the AI really likes to do if it actually have the resources. And the best thing is, AI is actually gonna go and throw its indies away to go and fight whenever it actually spots enemy air units. Like, right now you can go and see the big line of interceptors coming from the left side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I remember one of the games from the last tournament where it was just no air control for any of the team because AI was just dominating. And it's starting to look a bit like this again. Look, the AI is even doing a very good turn in the air fight. It's gonna crush Gingerbread's air. The Skynet is evolving. Yeah. But yeah, it seems like the top part of the map is actually gonna be a small stalemate here right now. Although Tagada is gonna have way more build power compared to Pepsi and the other players on the right side. Just look at the ammo of factories being available here. The build power is just enormous. Oh my god, yeah. This is gonna be full grunt. I think Tagada And has I think a plan. this is actually gonna be the full grunt thanks to the reclaim on the middle. Because all of it went to the left side team. Yeah. And if you look, Nock is quite ahead on his gun upgrades. Three, four engines assisting. Like, that's. It's gonna be fast enough to deny. Uh. Who's my count again? My count's gun upgrade. Yeah, everyone is just going gun upgrade on the middle. It's gonna be men bumping chests all around. Although I'm a little bit afraid of the right side because they have three ACUs here and Tagada and Nog are actually a little bit alone. And that was just ACU exploding on the right side of the map as it seems like one of the AIs just decided to go Leroy Jenkins. Like, what the hell was that ACU doing in the middle of the base belonging to Moy Count? I do not know. It's just, it had a mission and it failed. Hang on, Moy Count cancelled his gun upgrade. Wait, why? Like he was nearly done with it. Yeah, 
And that was a second ACU to protect him. And, and now all. Pepsi is actually getting ravaged by two gun comps. Yeah. I think this is... You know, if they just right-click to the right side, I think this is over. <laughs> just two gun I mean, comps. Pepsi is just gonna one. go and fall down because his ACU yeah. HP is dropping lower and lower. Only 300 Tagada is retreating HP. his units. Yes, so it's a really survive. good choice because he will save the units and the com explosion is not gonna kill okay. them. So now they can just keep on pushing forward. There's nothing stopping them now. They kept all of their armies alive. Oh my goodness, look at the ACU belonging to Nock. He can just keep on moving forward and the ACUs of Control K and Moikan are gonna be still in range. I think he should start even the distributing the damage now. Yes, he does. We'll go. He's gonna kill He's going both for of the them double in, one, kill. in one run, yeah. Although it seems like he's gonna go for a single ACU kill here first, and then he will try to go and kill the other one. As we can see, Control K actually trying to go and move forward to go and buy some time, but I don't think it is gonna be enough. Again, big part of the army getting saved. Yeah, some really good micro coming up from the left side. Making sure that the units are safe and so they can fall back and then push in yet again. But it's looking quite dire for the team Pepsi. As we can see, Moikam is the only man alive. And not only are the enemy players coming in with a bunch of units and ACUs to go and finish off his ACU, the AI is also joining the fray. If you can actually go and look below, there is a yeah. few Lime units coming in to also go and join the party. But a single T1PD from Moikan should be actually able to go and buy us some time. But I don't think it is gonna be enough to go and change the tides of this game. Yeah. He has T2 in the base, but I don't think he will even be able to spam up enough PD to stop two gun comms and a big army. And actually, there is the first Titan on the field, captured by Tagada. Love to oh see no, it. actually it's on the first one. Uh, Pepsi actually captured one before, but then just sent it to Dev. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's it disappointing. It basically went straight for Tagada and got overcharged in a single shot. <laughs> and Moikon is in range of Nock, and if Nock has any style points, he will just control K. Right now. Come on, Nock, you can do it, you can do it, be the cheeky man. Show us some style. Moikon is gonna get the vet. But it's not gonna be enough. It's like less than 10 seconds, 5 seconds from death. Can he hide behind the... Oh, he can actually hide behind the cliff here. I have to say, all of these markers just look comical. <laughs> Everyone pointing at the 500 HP ACU. Yeah. <laughs> it's there, it's there. Go get it. Kill him, it's there. Don't let him run away. They're gonna chase him through the whole map. Imagine if they chase him to the AI so the AI can kill him. Yeah. <laughs> no, the Titan is gonna die. That's, that's, that's quite disappointing. That PD has been eating so many shots, finally the overcharge hits it. Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is why you always should build some walls near the T1 PDs. Yes. And Boy Count has T3 air. Yes, Squeezed and there is the first gun ship actually coming out. Although it seems it has been spotted, so yeah, the air is already coming in. As we can see the Swift Winds from Gingerbread closing in. 
Oh, wait, 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 there's a single to the gunship going for the air snipe, as we can see Moikan actually being sniped by two Spectris gunships from the Aeon. Moikan needs to uh, develop the, en uh, deploy the anti-air gunship. He could actually save his life. Yeah, but it seems it's not gonna happen. The T1 PDs are being built on time in the base, but they're just way too far away. As the HP is going lower and lower, and as such, the kill goes in for Mr. Gingerbread. GG well played. To the team, SA, Clan and Co. Okay, so this was the first in the best of three. I'm gonna be back again. I'm get something to drink. Understood. I will then catch the players. The tension in there as nobody speaking, not a single lobby hosted, and yet we all keep on waiting here.
Okay, it seems like the lobby have been hosted and as such, in like two or three minutes, we should be back on time. And I have also returned some chips. Welcome back, Harser. But yeah, it seems like the lobby have been already hosted, so we can go and join it. And it seems like it's actually going to be played out on a brand new map. Or at least one that I have never seen before. Me neither. Group formed. Group formed. Group formed. Group formed. Group formed. Group formed. Okay, it seems like all the players are here, the AIs are on the spots, and everyone is ready. Or maybe more or less ready. Yeah, we still need some teams. And th this is actually the one of, I think this is one of the maps where we have two different AI teams. So the AI that will fight each other. I don't think so, to be honest, because first they would have to go and grind through the enemy players. Like they're in different colors, so unfortunately, it seems like there will be no AI versus AI fights happening here. But let's be honest, we are all here to go and see the players get their ass whooped by the AI. <laughs> so the closer the AI to our dear players, the better for us. Yes. Just looking at the map and it's incredibly lean in terms of maxes per player. It doesn't seem like there's gonna be any mud scanning happening. Yeah. Maybe we will see one or two T2 maxes, but T3 maxes, I don't think it's gonna happen.
And yeah, just like Kilashi is writing on the chat, M27 is a very good AI. So if you are looking for a challenge, go and download it from the fourth wall because it's a really good one. Just give it a spin and you will see that it can actually kick your ass. This is the moment when having a radio play in the background would be amazing. What? A r our uh, music radio or? Group yeah, a yeah. music radio or something. But my problem is that all of the, I consider all of the <laughs> royalty free music is absolute trash. I cannot listen to that. <laughs> oh no. And the beats Harsir listens to daily, I guess, would be too hard for us. Nah, it's like just all. Uh, you know, uh, copyright. Copyrighted. Bottom, yeah, all copyrighted. We can always try singing something. <laughs> <laughs> Although maybe lot, let's not torture our dear viewers. Yeah, imagine getting copy a copyright strike because of singing. That would be next level. It seems like there is some connection troubles happening between our players. Yeah, let's hope that's As the lobby have here. crashed both for Nock and Gingerbread Man. Group formed. So it looks like we are maybe ready to go now. Let's hope no one drops out during the game. That would be a shame. Yeah. We have spent so much time refining these lobby settings. Everything is perfect. So please, don't ruin it. No, we have one issue. Nock doesn't, doesn't have a team. Oh, well, he's still not ready yet, so... Seems like SB's team is not quite uh, sure on which slots they want to play. I mean, strategy is very important, just as team play, as we have seen in the previous battles. Yeah. Oh, maybe they actually rolled rolled the slots. I don't quite know how it works in this tournament now. No, no, we just roll the colors and then you can pick the side. As for the slots, you can do whatever you want inside your team. Okay. It's basically you pick one slot, other team picks one, and then so and so.
Oh boy, the rainbow chat looking quite juicy. Ah, I wasn't in. Is it something you can say on stream? No, no, no. Or... I shouldn't be. <laughs> Let's say it involves our beautiful Rowan and Yudi. Hmm. See, uh, we're back. We're traveling back in time again. In terms of a vibe, you know. Yeah, the good old faff. But hey, it seems like we're only lacking two players to the up, not being Tagada and Nox, so who knows? Any second we can actually see the game happen. Looks like Okay, let's do it. So, what do you think about this strange map that we have here in front of us? This looks like the map where you want to reclaim every single tree manually. Oh, yeah, though, actually, it still might be some tree clumps in here that I see. Yeah. It's just that there are rocks in between the trees. I guess there's quite some... Re like, on this map, the reclaim is so instrumental. Yeah, especially because you can use it in two ways. Either go to accelerate your economy, or actually use it to go and grab some early advantage versus the enemy units. Which might prove to be vital, because if you actually look in, there is a lot of 300 mass rocks in the water. I think this is water. Or at least I hope so. <laughs> and the acid. I mean, here in FAF we actually have some maps with acid. If you walk your units in, they're gonna die. Just trying to check which maxes are frigate rateable. There seem to be quite a few. I'm not. Sh you can see my markers, right? I'm not sure if that one. Yeah, yeah, I see. Eh, I don't think it's gone. There is way too big of an elevation. Yeah. But it, the slope is just basically way too high. Oh, actually, it seems like the AI can actually go and pressure some of the players. If you will look into the side of the map, you can actually go and cross here. Yep, exactly there. That ramp is also passable, yeah. Oh, I would love to be in the AI slot and do double factory opening. This is just, I'm just hardwired. If you can do it, Man, just do whenever it. a FAF player just sees some trees, it's just like... It's time to cut them down. <laughs> yeah. The economy must prosper. Screw the environment. It's all about the mechs and mass. But yeah, we can see that Azot is actually going for the early air. Gonna go and start with the little scout to go and see what the enemy team is planning. 
Although so looking at the middle of the map, I'm not even sure if frigates are that good of a choice because I don't know if they can actually pass through the middle for that choke point. Um, I think you can get them through there. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. Although Wagners are not gonna make it, looking at how many ridge lines are there inside the water. Yeah, there's. Actually, that's quite interesting. There's just some parts underwater that are. You know, they're also visually marked where you can pass with the ACU or Wagners. Kind of like the idea. Oh, yeah, that's true. There is some sandy bridges like below the water, so yeah, I guess you can cross there. Yeah. And also, first bomber actually coming up from Azot gonna go oh, and bomb the living shit of Junior Breadman, already killing three of his engineers and damaging the power. Okay, the interceptor is on its back, it's gonna fire a few shells, but the bomber is still gonna make a second round. The bombs have been dropped and it seems they're gonna go and connect, killing even two more engineers. Honestly, a very good bomber coming out from Mr. Azot. Yeah, and one that shouldn't have done... Considering there was already one Inti out, shouldn't have done that kind of damage. Even more so as Junior Bradman doesn't have to look much to forward, like, he, he, all he have is basically this little plateau and that's it. So he should be really protecting it, but also look at the top. Yeah, Nock is gonna lose that transport. Ah, uh, maybe not, maybe it actually, stay, it's actually stays alive. Or no, no, he shouldn't have moved it. Yeah. Also, his Inti lost its command when it went off map. That's quite a sad loss, and Ginger is ready to steal. To steal the. Steal the plateau, I think. That's actually quite nasty if he manages to grab this plateau abo above Ginger and just builds a factory and, you know, a couple couple fervors. No biggie. I mean, those belong to the top team anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, and the oh, AI wait, wait, is wait, also trying to AI. steal. The AI is also trying to steal his <laughs> plateau. No, 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 they are not oh. stealing. Remember, Ginger the Bread is together with Tagada and Nog. Oh no. He's not stealing it, he's just covering for the lost transport. Yeah. <laughs> I missed that. <laughs> We're playing more Although, of well, assault. knowing how some custom lobbies go, he might be as well stealing them. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly, look at the AI expansion. It's looking quite juicy this time. It might really turn out to be a problem. Although SP with his ACU going through the middle to go and join Tagada AC on the other side. Or not, he's just gonna go and steal the reclaim. Nock realized the AI is actually stealing his... Like, reclaiming his NGC he just dropped. Poor man being bullied. First the enemy team snaps his transport, then the AI steals the plateau, and now the AI is gonna kill the transport again. <laughs> man is just not catching a break. Absolutely brutal. Also, the AI stole... One of the plateaus from Control K. Oh, yeah, he just dropped, true. reclaimed his NG, and is now just building the Maxis. And this AI is absolutely brutal with the plateau game. I think that's and why. And now it seems it. like Junior Brett may actually steal the other plateau from Control K. As you can see on the south part, there is a single engine here dropped. Yeah. And AI is going now for the other plateau. This time the one in the back, it's gonna start reclaiming the max. No, it's gonna reclaim the engineer and after that it's gonna be a free range. It's just gonna reclaim the maxes too, oh boy. The AI is so good at the NG fights. I've just seen it like I think I think you can actually you might not even be able to beat it. Of the no, I don't think so, delay, yeah. because it's just so much better, although a bomber is gonna kill it. So Azot actually managing to go and save one of his maxes from the sneaky AI. Oh no, I've, I've not changed the scene again. I think I have to... <laughs> I have to switch to a certain faf name for my month of shame. 
No, no, we should just go and unroll with it that the premium service is only available for people who are subdued. Yes. Everyone else gets what they see. So, come on, chat. Pay up, pay up, otherwise no view experience for you. Wait, wait, wait. Look at the middle. This might be really bad because both Control K and Pepsi are going for the single ACU belonging to Tagada. And if Tagada doesn't notice it, he might actually die in here. Yeah, I mean, he can always retreat back into the water. I mean, not if the AI oh. is lurking in there. <laughs> yeah. Because also, I Mr. Mixed up. Zinelium is coming in here to go and join the fray. <laughs> also, bully him or help him out, we'll see. Yeah. It seems like this game, the luck is on the side of Pepsi team. This is such a chaotic game. Also, it seems like the top team, the SA and Co, is actually gonna get Navy locked. So really looking quite dicey for them. They do have some blazes to go and reclaim control of it, but the question is, are they gonna be capable of actually doing it, considering the amount of frigates already on the field? Oh my, the yeah. AI, just look at this guy, just slowly walking, just chasing SP and Control K, reclaiming the Vrex. Tagada is quite the sizable hover army now. <clears throat> I think he could have contested the ACUs maybe even. Considering there's not a lot of energy generation. And Ginger is building his tool to get off the island and help out his teammate. Got the first T2 transport. Although honestly, uh, no way, they actually have air because Nock was building a big massive army of interceptors. So that's why he have no navy at all. Although flying it all over the enemy frigates is not the best idea. And now AI is gonna go and try to snipe the T2 transport belonging to Junior Bradman. <laughs> oh no. Hang on, did he lose? But thankfully, there's just enough inters Hang to go on. and kill him. The AI TML sniped one of Ginger's T2 mixes. If we can see the TMD actually being made yeah. right now, although the damage has been done. And it's launching again, and depending on from where it. Oh no, it's oh, gonna it's kill gonna another mix. Yeah. The AI just woke up and chose violence this game. Yeah. The AI is so brutal on this map. Look at Tagada. <laughs> He's already mad. <laughs> where's, where's the other AI going? Okay, the other AI is gonna terrorize Nock a bit. Oh no, oh no, no one cares, that is not good. You should be going the other way. I'm um, here's gun. There are three submarines here and also two ACUs waiting for him. Yeah, but he's gun and he's gonna team up with Tagada, I think it's fine. And Ginger is also there to have gun. If he had OC, he would get an absolute... Yeah, there we go, he's just gonna win Navy now. That's true, also a really nice T1 PD coming out from Espiranto, gonna kill Two T2 Max is on the little plateau oh, here. That's toxic. That's a very toxic pity. Yep, it seems like they're gonna go and manage to go and push out both ACUs to the water. But SP is actually coming out. And he's gonna be greeted by three enemy ACUs, so sorry, you better go and dip your tools in the water yet again. But the problem is, the little T2, I mean T1 submarines, which can be quite problematic, although considering the amount of interceptors the top team have, they maybe could go for the Torp snipe. Yep, I can see some skimmers being made by Gingerbread men, so yes, the torpedoes are gonna be here at any moment. 
No, wait. Nog already have a single one, and it's going straight for Mr. Azot. No, wait. He's gonna go and kill the T1 submarine first. The... Yeah. I considering they have three ACUs, two with guns. Can they do? Now they're just gonna take out SB. That's probably the best move. Yeah, SP and Azot should most likely try to go and get out on the other side of the map and go for the base belonging to no one cares. Because otherwise I just don't see how can they even escape here. Or wait, yeah. they can get oh, up here. Hang on, they have a cruiser that's coming. Holy hell, what is this game? <laughs> it's just one white thing happening after another. But uh, SP is dead. That's quite a loss. But honestly, I think the Yes, but actually with the cruisers here on the field, this is gonna be really painful now for the enemy team. The cruiser can keep on killing not only the torpedo bombers, but also can go and try to kill off the T2 Maxi belonging to Tagada and everyone else. Yeah, if it survived. <laughs> oh, well, there was just it enough, there was just enough torp bombers out to kill it. I think with air control they should actually do some pretty fun stuff, just, you know, drop a gun com into a base. Honestly, not even a gun com, just go and drop your blazes somewhere. That would also work. Yep, we can already see Tagada moving some engineers. Never mind, he's gonna go and reclaim the plateau. For a moment I thought it was actually a blazes in the transport, but no, it was my bad. It was nothing but engineers. That's a nice reclaim. Oh my goodness, the AI is actually staggering the TML shots to go and snipe the TMDs belonging to Gina Bradman. Who wrote this? Like, this is, uh, this is horrible. It just sniped one. <laughs> yeah. and, oh, oh my god. Look at this. Look here. Oh no, there's RT. Oh my god. Oh, I guess it sniped it with the RT, right? Or did it actually do the perfect thing? No, it actually snapped it the... with the TMD. I mean, TML, and the RT is aiming at the T2 Maxis. So poor Gingerbread when getting abused. <laughs> the other AI is also building RT, but it's a tiny bit slower. Yep, you better buckle up, because, oh my god, the T3 pigeon for Moikond is actually inside the RT range. This is not gonna be fun for him. Four RTs. Like, they have to drop an ACU into those RTs, otherwise this whole plateau is just dead. When you were hoping for a really good AI, but the AI was actually watching dual gap replaced. <laughs> no, it was wa That's watching not the AI Swockle, we wanted. <laughs> Swockle replace, yeah. This is, this is the Swockle move. Yeah, who fed AI faulty data? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this this transport is a bit uh, low. No, 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 GJ, but no, 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 no. There is. Oh my. There's so much a. Oh, he just dropped just outside enough. Oh my <laughs> goodness! Uh, two seconds later, and he would be dead. The yeah. swift winds just came just a second too late. A poor man have nothing left of his own base. Yeah, I guess if his HQ survives, it's... No. By the way, look at the base belonging to Tagala. What is happening there? <laughs> oh. <laughs> You've got... Yes, oh. Oh. <laughs> Fortunately, it does not have speed, but... Yeah, it's but just... it can fire overcharge to go and finish the T2 pigeon bring it to Tagada, so he's still incoming. 
Oh, the AI even has gun comb, so it's not gonna be an easy crush for Ginger. Although, thankfully, it is the Aeon Gunkum, so it can actually go and outrange the UEF one. Yeah, and there's the big hover assistance coming yeah, from. Yeah, Tangada said, no, you tickled me in the wrong place, so I'm now gonna go and mow you down. Killing the T2 Pigeon was a mistake, and the AI is about to learn the hard lesson. Yeah, but you can see the AI actually, after spotting the T2 hover spam, is actually already starting to build a massive ammo of T2 PDs here. It's not stopping with the TML. Oh, no, thankfully, knock. no one cares. It's gonna drop. <laughs> actually, they should just kill both of the ACUs. Because the AI is in different teams. They can take out their own AI. Yeah, yeah, that is true. That'd be pretty. Pretty good move. The problem is though, South team has uncontested T3 air. So already a I mean, out. uncontested. They're trying to shield it from an artillery barrage. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, Nock is trying to catch up. Yeah, he's halfway done with the T3 upgrade. AI giving out the GG's on the chat. And Ginger and Nock appear to have realized what they need to do. Yes, exactly. Nock moving both ACUs to go and yeah. kill the enemy Gancom. Honestly, they should have just mercyed them. Like, if they were to mercy the enemy players, I would be pissed. But mercying the AI? Yep, that's an okay play in my book. Don't let it live, please. Okay. Okay, yeah, Junior Brett makes the turn, and yep, the AI is not gonna run away. Meanwhile, North AI has. T2 Navy out and is, has a cruiser out and starting to spam destroyers. Yeah, and although the bottom team have the T3 air, it seems like they're not planning to do anything with it. Instead of actually making, what is it called, the Strat Bomber, they just went for ASF for no reason. Yeah. I feel like they could have, you know, just two broadswords. Could have killed all three ACUs maybe. <laughs> Oh, but oh boy, look at all of this reclaim now that the top team can get. This is gonna be juicy. That was T3 Max, but Control K is actually not sleeping and immediately dropping the south base. Let's see if Tagada is predicting that move and... Yeah, I mean, he's sending the blazes nearly all the way down. That's good to see, because there is no response from the enemy gunships or anything, so... It seems like the proxy bay from Azad is gonna be killed by the... No, never mind, the blazes are gonna wing back. Oh no. See, but he, he's scouting it, so he should... Should react. Unfortunately the, for him, the PD is already up. Yeah, yeah, but PD is nothing. The single gun com can just come in and sweep it in no time. <laughs> AI is just hang on. Is that is that AI in range? Uh, it's, no, it's this Andre guy. Oh, that's oh just about goodness. not in range of the HQ. But like, fortunately, it doesn't see the T two pigeons. Because at least one of them is would be in range of the RT. I hate to say it, but it seems like Moikan actually took the challenge, and he's also making his own T two artillery. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's the best idea to go into an, like an RT duel with a... What is it? Ah, it's, it's only 1.2 the multiplayer, right? It's not too bad. Yeah, but it's still a big chunk of mass because single RT is 2k mass. Yeah. I 
Also, it seems like another AI is gonna go and move his guncom around the map, trying to go and sneak past the f base belonging to Moikan and go for the remnants of the Pepsi base. Oh no, it seems like the AI is also making ASF. And even though Moikant had actually quite a few ISF saved up, the AI just managed to go and kill most of them, with only two remaining alive. Oh boy. And looking at how much build power Nok is on his own HQ, it seems like the air is actually gonna be swinging in favor of the top team. I wonder if top team is gonna invest. Looks like Nock is gonna invest into Navy now. Oh no, it's dropping somewhere else. No, I don't think there is reason to invest in Navy. Just spam some torpedo bombers and call it a day. Yeah. I mean, top team has just to think about how to finish this game right now. I mean, the cruisers are gonna be a problem, but thankfully the AI have its own destroyers killing them. Yeah. Turned out investing in the Navy was mostly fighting the AI. And now Tagana is kind of looking to deal some damage with the hover spam. To be honest, the... instead of going for the enemy Navy, I would love him to go and actually beeline through the middle of the map. Yeah. And go here for against the kill the build power, kill the factories, and maybe even go and deal massive damage to the base here. Yeah, you should just abuse the fact that enemy navy is quite occupied. But the problem is it's moving into a position where it threatens quite a bit more air yeah, mass. Uh, it seems like he's actually quite afraid of the big navy clamp, which managed to somehow sneak through the middle. But looking at the amount of blazes and shields he have, he should be actually able to go and dispatch them quite easily. Just gonna make sure to not split the units too much. Yeah. But yeah, with all of the additional economy actually being secured on the right flank from killing the AIs, it seems like Tagada and Gingerbread are just doing fine by this moment. Even more so as the left team is just not trying to contest it in any way. They're just busy killing the AI on the left flank for now. Yeah, the Daniels is getting chewed on by both those. I think it'll actually get the calm. But they still need to kill the other one, which is under the water. Oh, I'm not... This would be quite... I guess the Destros kind of run out of space to kite on the right side. Yep, there is nowhere else to run. Very kind AI. Also, is it me or the AI have the best economy of all the players? <laughs> Even though Moy can't have double base, he's still behind on the economy. Yeah. I mean, there's two T3 mixes, nearly a third one. In the AI base. Come on, submerge the destroyers. Oh my goodness, even no one die. cares to join that. To go and fight. Oh, yeah, yeah, the destroyers are actually, yeah, good choice to go and save them. Although the torpedo bombers are coming in from the left side.
That cruiser had 11k mass killed. Picked off so much random stuff. Yeah, there was no TMD on the Platous or anything, so... Unfortunately, no one cares lost 22 maxes there. Even few more on the front line. Hmm, it seems like Moikan is losing the artillery battle. Yeah, and the best thing is that right now AA is also making artillery to go and harass no one cares on the top side. Yeah. It's like no one is safe from the squall tactics. The AI is actually sniping TMD. Oh, and the TML is already dispatched. I wonder if this will actually connect. Okay, this, this one got stopped. Tagada was quick enough, this was... Could have lost quite a few T2 maxes here. Depending on how... How big the effective range of the TMD was. Where is it even? There it is. Oh, it killed something. Oh, it killed the scap T2 mix. And there's no TMD in the south. Or at least not yet. So it's gonna die. If you're talking, you're muted. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't. I, I just used the ah. button. <laughs> okay. Maria, it seems like the TMD won't be built on time and as such one of the T2 Max is gonna fall down. Yeah, now it's the race between, you know, TMD building and TML loading. Although I'm afraid there is not much to go and actually stop the T2 hover spam from entering the land. <laughs> if you will look on the middle, the walls can easily be killed off and well, after that there's nothing to stop them. Yeah, I think the... Cliffs are way too steep for the Serodestro. Oh no, it's the team are oh, the cruiser. So close. Epic cruiser. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anyone is planning anything, or at least I don't see any juicy plays being made. It seems like everyone is just way too preoccupied trying to stay alive. Yeah, and Tagada got stopped. Why is, why is Tagada sending his all of his hover back? It's a bit of a weird choice. <laughs> it's just RT duels everywhere. 
This is so, such an unnecessary RT, RT duel by Nock, because if he just conceded, like, I think up to this line, the AI couldn't kill, wouldn't be able to kill anything. And there's a sneaky TML which is being bombed, and I think it's it's gonna die after getting one max kill. Such an odd game. Tagala has been ecoing quite a bit, so... I wonder what he wants to win the game with. There's <laughs> the even MMLs coming to siege my my count's main base. Absolute sadness. Cruisers, MMLs, you name it. These artists have been achieving very little so far. Like the AI RT 5.5k, 3k, 4k. And I guess this was kind of useless, but. Why is this shield paused? I hear a strat. Ah, uh, it's AI strat. Yeah, it it's, just yep. randomly came in and killed two mexes. Imagine if it went for the T3 mex. Builds a strat, flies over everyone, kills two mexes, <laughs> refuses to elaborate, and leaves. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, it kind of seems like the bottom team is lost in tow. Not sure what they should actually go and do. Yeah, I wanted to say this This game is kind of, you know, looking like an art ins installation. It's just, you know, like... It's Stuff just, happening all over. Yeah, but it's like in a stationary state where it doesn't, that it doesn't leave. It's just, you know, it will continue to look like this for, uh, for another hour just random RTs in random positions shooting at each other just about not breaking the firebase. It makes me wish that the bottom team actually committed to the ACU play in the very beginning. Yeah. And they could have actually tried to go and kill off Tagada before the other ACUs came in because they had like one or two minutes of time before anyone actually reacted. As Gingerbread was actually <laughs> being TML'd by the enemy uh, AI, and Nock was basically on the other side, so yeah, they should have just took the chance. Because right now everyone is just playing a ping pong with each other. Yeah, it's just uh, navies and armies moving back and forth, engaging a like, couple of units. Hang on, there's some movement. The AI firebase finally died after 10 minutes. Yeah, but at what cost? Yeah. The 
require two extra arties to break it. Tigerda decided to go into navy and is spamming out Destros now. There's Not sure if I agree with this play here. To be honest, I think they could have just made a GC and walk it through the middle with all of the reclaim they have got from the, the AI base. Yeah. An experimental would have been fun. I think it is the GC tall enough to kill the plateau. Might be like an attack on Titan moment, you know, just the GC. I mean, it can just over. get in there because there are ramps to get there. The only base. Oh, yeah, the one where you're looking at. This is the only yeah, base yeah. where GC cannot do anything. It might be just about. T no, it's, is it. You think it's tall enough to have its eye? Although, actually, I think it's tall enough to go and shoot Navy in some of the parts. Oh, yeah. Just but yeah, it could easily the erase Control K base. Okay. Tagada is moving in. Because it seems like Nock finally acquired a massive army of torpedo bombers. Yeah. And they are... Let's see if he micros them well. Because the Destros are a bit out of... Po oh. They were just... Just about not able to hide. From the torpedoes. Look, he's... How is this not running aground? And with the Destros dead, there's nothing... I don't think it's enough frigates to stop those... that amount of blazes. Even more so as they're supported by the T2 shields, which are cool, currently experiencing energy stall. Oh yeah, speaking about GC, they finally started making it. C. Whoops, one key. Okay, it's not tall Oh no, enough. a misplay happening, as it seems like all of the torpedo bombers are gonna get intercepted by the ASF belonging to Moikont. Oh, I feel... And it seems... Oh, it's gonna be a Mazo Nation. Yeah. It has PDs, there's a gun com. It's retreating. The other direction would have probably been better. Or even just going for the remaining enemy navy. Yeah. Oh no, I, I managed to actually go and sneak a TV engine on the tower. It reclaimed one of the engines and it seems like the other it's one is gonna... like reclaimed. And now it is reclaiming time for the Maxis. <laughs> Absolute rampage engineer here, yeah. <laughs> Watch out, here comes the other one. <laughs> Absolutely brutal. Oh, it got intercepted. Imagine if it reclaimed the 71% T3 mix. Did it drop? T2, T3 NG survived. It's gonna probably make a Sam. He has five Destros out from Tiger. Oh, he's got so much build power on that factory. Holy shit. I bet he's mustling quite hard because he's also making the GC. Actually, isn't. He isn't. He's floating one uh, 10k mass. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god, our chatters are saying that AI deserves a victory even more than the players. <laughs> <laughs> How will our players recover from this slide? Oh, 
And the GC is on its way. With second one already started, just to make sure. But if anything bad happens, there's gonna be another one to go and throw at the enemy units. But yeah, it seems like actually Tagada should be quite easily winning the air fight. Uh, I mean, navy fight. Because there is basically no destroyers in the mix for Azot. Some gunships taking pot shots at the RT base. Yeah, the gunships were just going in and out each time the enemy ASF actually comes closer. So it was like, poke a little bit, fall back, poke a little bit, fall back. And oh no, Espiranto is actually quitting the game, so it seems like he kind of gave up on his team. Shame to see it. There's a chicken plant for my count, but I'm afraid it's gonna be a bit too late. It seems like it is gonna be the final stand for Azot's base. It seems like the GC also have been spotted because there is a chicken being built by Count Moy or never mind. And Control K coming out. They spotted the GC and it's yeah. So 37 minute game. I mean the first 15 minutes were quite entertaining. Second half not so much I guess. After 15 minutes, the Squall virus took over. Yeah, it's just big things shooting at each other. Oh no, the air fight is happening and it seems like Nock got a really good first star as he managed to go and already kill half of the enemy air force. And as such, it seems like the air win is gonna go to Mr. Nock. Ah well, I guess this is it for Moikant. He doesn't really have anything to go and stop the encroaching enemy army. Oh my god, Nok is actually gonna go and snipe the enemy AI before he finishes the Moikant. And look at those dodging skills. And 
Oh, never mind. It seems like Mo Moikan is actually gonna go and throw it in the towel, saying GGK and quits the game. So, GG will play to Team Tagada, also known as Team SA Clan and Co. And it seems they're not only gonna finish it by killing the players, they also wanna go and kill the last of the AI. I guess they're really angry about that artillery war. <laughs> Time to send in the GCs, there we go. I mean, to be honest, I think you can actually start making the honors of closing the stream. Considering that all of the enemy players are dead and no more games are planned for today. Oh no, it seems like Harser have fallen asleep. Poor man was looking at AI play versus players and just went Mimir a Mimir, no? What can Faf sometimes turn out to be? The best friend to sleepless nights will always make sure you can go to sleep. Oh, Harser, you're back! I'm back, yes. And so, here I told that you actually fallen asleep. Oh yeah, AI. I'm very, very close to falling asleep. I'm going to repeat myself. I think you can actually start doing the honors of closing the stream because all the games have been finished and there is no more games planned for today. 